Hajvemash Sentry. Sorry for the holdup. Time for a bit more Elden Ring. Let's see how this works. Should be able to go on and here in the round table hold. Go over to I don't need that mouse pointer right now. Gotta go under and not Great Waterfall Crest, not Deep Root Depths, but Nameless Eternal City. That's where we need to go right now. Right, okay. So over here, and I don't need that right now. I had that fight Basilis. We want this quality curved gray club on. Stats are nice and high. Hmm. But I don't have a map right now, and that is still a little bothersome. Main thing is, Hajime Mouse Sentry, how are you doing? Nice to see you again. Human Bone Shards, Picking Stone Four, Golden Rune, Golden Rune. What else? Oh, a nascent butterfly. Oh, nice. What are you eating? Anything particularly good, or let's just see what else is in here. Another golden rune. Huh. Smithing stone four. There's nothing else that I specifically... Oh, and this? Oh! Okay. So, we're continuing through this area... Oh, Nectarine. Area deep root depths. And... Actually, but this is the coffin that leads to... Ansel River, it seems. So I actually don't need to go all the way through deep root. But I think I will. Just for the sake of it. There was a coffin that went up to this big underground central area for which we still don't have the map, and this one is leading us down to Ansel River. Hmm. Let's see what happens. So normally we would come here through a teleport gate by giving the Finger Slayer Blade I got from Nokron earlier to Ronnie to progress that quest line. But there's also the option of just getting there through Deep Root Depths by going... I have to go to Sifra. I had to go through Sifra Aqueduct to... Actually, Sifra Aqueduct was optional for the quest line. The big thing is... The Witch quest line I was doing also ties a bit into the... Fia quest line from before. Okay, and this is just water. I'm not gonna. Hopefully, we're not gonna fall down there. Let's put up Starlight. Thank you. Hmm. So, once I find a side of grace here, I think I'll dip back. But. Oh! We already found. This is the. <laughs> okay, but is there any way to get up and around there? Or is this all just for show? I think it's all just for show, but, okay, so there's a set of grace over here, but we already got the map for this when we were in the other part of Ansel River earlier, because this all is just mostly accessible from Lyrinia. We're underneath right now. Oh, we're actually right underneath the Frenzied Flame Village. That's cool. Hmm. Let's keep on moving. How do I want to do this? Hmm. It's not all that much here, but it is nice having light. That helps. The question is what kind of enemies are going to be in here other than... Presumably there will be more ants. Big thing is that I don't have a good source of holy damage, which would be a good option versus the Nox that will eventually run into it. Oh, is that another falling star beast? I think it is. Well, I mean, the Malform Star, I think they called it specifically. There was one over here, and then this, more generally. That's where the Dragon Soldier was, but all this over here, we can't quite reach at the moment. So this would be the Eternal City, and we'd have to work our way around. This would lead me to the Lake of Rot, and eventually to the Moonlight Altar, but we are Ansel River, Maine. So is the Ansel River Well Depths, Ansel River Sluice Gate, Downstream, and Dragon Soldier of Nokstella, but that 
it seems that most of this is just for show, just bodies of water that we can't actually access. And is this, is the coffin on the map? That's funny, if so. This over here, which, again, we still don't have the map for. Another part we gotta get to. I will work my way around. I guess my question is, oh, and that coffin is still over there. So if you feel like it, you can absolutely... Just go through that, so if you really feel like it, you can just avoid. You never have to actually use a teleport gate, that's fun. Oh, and this? Clarifying bolus for anti-frenzy. The camera angles are kind of tough to deal with. Hmm. But, a bunch of gargoyles that you can kind of see, broken down gargoyles as opposed to the ones I've already fought over on those tree branches, spitting fire to defend things. But other than that, there should be other items to pick up along the way, but... Oh, there we are, and another smithing stone. But over here, there were a large number... Well, they're all gone now. Of ghostly mausoleum knights surrounding that walking mausoleum, and to get onto it, I had to walk onto those branches and hop down, but... Oh, okay, so there's one shooting in the around here, but since they all disappeared when I stopped the mausoleum's movements. Okay, so I'm not going to get a chance to take that guy down then, but oh, there's right another ant here. That's right. Huh. I hear something. Oh, another basilisk. Awesome news. Hello. And oh my goodness. I, oh my goodness. I, I don't like that. Hmm. Do you have any... Sure, we'll take that. That is tough. Well, they're better dealt with using... I... It could be an idea to take Order Healing right now, the anti-death white spell. But I think I'll just not do that. Thanks. And one, two... It doesn't do amazing damage to them, but... Keeps them from... Oh, okay. Yeah, they're weaker to slash, but at least it keeps them from moving. Stun locks them pretty capably. I hate these basilisks so much. Okay, and I don't have the ability to craft those rejuvenating boluses right now, so that was my one use. Sad. I... For now, if I'm just going underneath and taking out basilisks for now, I should stick to this. The club is for the gargoyles, but other than that, see, it deals so much more damage. Part of that is the upgrade level, but still. Come on, can I... Slam, slam, slam. It's funny that the blood loss procs right when it doesn't matter anymore for anything. Okay. Thank you. Hmm... How many more could be around here, though? And that's a spirit spring that leads up there, it seems. Hmm. But not having a map really complicates the exploration progress. That is an unknown factor. Hmm. Just trying to think. Where to next? Go over. Kill those basilisks. Focusing on patches of one particular color is probably a good idea to avoid getting too us and too sidetracked. Come on. One, two, three. All right. That's fine. Anyone else? Yeah, but I did get an anti-death blight build-up spell. It is not particularly impressive. Because Death Blight is the kind of thing most of the time where uh, if you really get a lot of build up you're probably just dead, but I don't know, there there's a dragon fight that I can't do right now that I will unlock. What is interesting is that in order to do the Fia quest line, the Godwin Prince of Death quest line, you need to progress a good deal of Ronnie's quest line. It's interesting how they're connected, because in order to get the Curse Mark of Death, you need to progress Ronnie's questline enough that she lets you into 
the Divine Tower of Lyurnia. Otherwise, you cannot complete Fia's questline at all. It's interesting. Okay, there's a scarab somewhere in... Oh, you're gonna try to blast me. Okay. Well, we're gonna work our way up and around. Just run over. Do I have flame fortification right now? I might. I do not have flame fortification right now. What do I have in place of... Well, whatever. I guess that's where Catch Flame is. One, two, three. Come on. Seek Grace. Grace nearby, or...? No... Side of Grace, it seems, but... We're there, up there, so what was the point of getting up over here? Maybe looping around this way? Interesting. There's an item there. Hmm. We're up pretty high. I do not want to die here. Oh, and that... It'll take some time, but that will eventually be my best Glintstone Staff. So Death Staff, Sully Amber, very part of the Prince of Death, enhances death sorceries. Team Tyrannical by the Academy for its ability to allow sorceries to be augmented through faith in addition to intelligence and that. Let me just see how good it is right now. It... With some upgrading, I think it would... Once my intelligence and faith are around 50 or so combined, well, when both are around 50 individually, it'll be the best staff in the game from then on if I were to continue as I would to upgrade them, upgrade those stats evenly. But is there anything over here? Does not seem like it. Better than any other option, period. Because the DLC did introduce a staff that can cast both sorceries and incantations and skills both off of both stats, but it's not very good. And it it's not as strong. The entire point is the ability to cast both. Five Arteria Weaves. Not that special. Uh, is that an item down there? That's not an item down there. Let's drop down here and see what we get. This is, oh, well, we took some damage. Oh, a Smithing Stone 7, and, oh, we have a number of those now. Huh. So that, it's 18. The big question is, other than Prelate's Inferno Crozier and Giant Crusher, probably the only standard armaments I'm even going to be using. Everything else is just going to be somber. But I, what level is... Oh, so I could take that to plus seven, two. Well, oh, that'll take some time. For that, I should poke around in the swamp, take out any of the remaining basilisks who may be in here. We also got you. Oh, well. Let's use some frenzied bursts to incinerate these ants from a distance. And now, leveling up. Staff. Hmm. So eventually, God's Constitutor is one option. So is. Hmm. For a piercing sword, but I'll probably stick to Bloody Helix, which I'll get from Altus eventually. Though I could also get it from. Let's drop down. Thank you, and use this to break my fall. That was narrow. If that. That could have killed me. Not have been pleasant, though. Okay, but there is another piercing sword, which will be somewhat better than this great epic that I'll get from Altus Plateau, the Bloody Helix. It's got a really cool skill that also deals good damage, more... Also, blood build... blood loss build up. It's an arcane scaling heavy thrusting sword, which I will want to use. In part to make use of that arcane. The big question is whether... I might end up being better off putting a cult infusion on things that will accept it. Eventually, once my arcane gets a bit higher. Because the scaling is pretty good, and it leaves the scaling intact on other things. I know that eventually a cult is the best option for the giant crusher. But I'm not sure whether that just means with a pure arcane build, or with... If I were to level up other stats, too, quality might be better. Hmm. 
Well, we can go through this weird white swamp and take out these. Oh my goodness. Maybe I do want order healing. I, oh, we are in a bad, bad spot, bad position. But everything would respawn if I did it like this. That's what's annoying. Oh, come on, come on. Thank you, enjoy that. Hmm. Gotta put Starlight back on now, but not having a map to more directly tell me where I've been to navigate with. It's tough, and it is also possible that over around here, there's another way into Deep Root Depths from the sewers under Lando over here. But, yeah, we already have a set of grace there. I just can't reach the rest. But, normally, normally, hmm, you can't reach that branch from the rest of Deep Root Depths. I'm wondering if the map might be there, which would be obnoxious, because it means I wouldn't have access to the map until after I'd already basically cleared everything out on my first trip. It'd be interesting, I suppose, but still... Well, we... Alright, and let's just go in and... Yeah, the damage on Bloodhound's finesse is very, very good. Can't afford to ignore that. And can I... Thanks, and move in and slam it. Oh, well, nothing got hit. Nothing got hit. I... If I had a good AoE, that would probably be the best way to deal with these guys, but I don't have a good AoE. But once that bar fills up, I just die instantly, so understandably, I wouldn't like to let that happen. It's very similar to Curse from Dark Souls. But it's called Death Blight here because the setting is different, so the name is different. Yeah, they have no way of dealing damage to me in a normal sense. It is entirely just inflicting their status ailment for instant death on Brock. Come on. And there are... How many, how many even are there here? That's my real question. I think we've got... Okay, there are three remaining. Alright. Come on, and... I, wait, how did... Oh my goodness. Oh, it's because I ran out of... FP, so the version is... Deals a much less damaging version. It is interesting that you can still use it. Yeah, and the jump back is really, really useful here. Okay. It's such a good skill. And can I die? Die? Oh my! Okay. It'd be funny if that had killed me because I whipped. Okay, and was that okay? That was all that we got. Last regeneration. So that's our sign. So what are these going to be? Oh, a rune arc. Nice. Smithing stone six and a good number of those. We hmm. Might be able to steal a march on other. What is my great epi at? It's at 14, so I actually need Spithing Stone 5s in order to... Then I could use a couple of these for a bit more upgrades. And that would make it a strong weapon. Hmm. But it... It's kind of funny to think how... Uh, oh, nothing back here. How many more somber stones you just get tossed at you? Effectively, too, because it takes one somber stone per level, so just ten somber stones, one of each type, to level up a weapon fully if it uses somber stones, but the others require so much more. We're close to that other side of grace, so we've whooped back around. I think that rune arc there was the only thing of note to really get, so... Time to poke around the rest and- oh, another basilisk. Okay, cool. Two, three. Come on. Come on. How much and- oh, right, another. Get in over here. Can I- hmm, okay, we did connect. That's good. Nice so easy there to stance break, even if that isn't my biggest concern at the moment, and- oh my goodness, it costs so much to level at this point. But to be fair, everything is actually around 24 or 23 in actuality. Just got the rune arc effect active, so it looks it's a bit deceptive. Not that I hate that. Anything down here, or... 
This is... Let's see. Oh! Oh, here's our map! Okay, nice. Deeper depths, deeper depths and environs, depths of the Earth Tree's majestic roots, lies the source of the Ann Sultan Sea for rivers, begins the network of great tree roots that spread throughout the lands between. It's been found, deeper depths, and... So then... Now this is where we came from, the Great Waterfall Grass. This would have been... The way down, presumably? Or maybe it's actually over here. But I saw something of note, but... Yeah, under here is going to be the way from Lanedell. Then up over at the top over here, I believe, is where we'll meet Thea again. This was just where the mausoleum was. There was a big hollow tree trunk where we fought Crucible Knight Soluria. Deeper depths, Ansel, but this still does not say Seaver. I guess we really need the Mogwin map before that shows. And you can see the seam in between Ansel and Deeper over here. So it, I suppose, yeah, this is where the wall of rock starts. And these are just the tree roots. The map actually does reflect geography pretty well. But I wonder if there would ever be a graphical linkage between here. There is a dark space. Presumably maybe when I get Mogwin or maybe Lake of Rot, that would show... Either way, it's good to be able to see where we're going now. That's useful. What's at the end over here? Is that a... Another... That looks like a gargoyle. Yeah, that is another... Broken down gargoyle, so... Put the... Quality curved gray club back on. The nice thing is that I can just use the horse to rush in, so... We'll get through relatively quickly, and come on, come on, and... Okay, cool. Thanks. Can I slam, and will I be able to get a... Okay, you cannot visceral them, that's just a... Well, critical them, it's just a stance break. So what's this over here? This is... I should wear vacuum slice. Oh, and that's what... The gargoyle sword, sword uses, too. Okay. But Grey Tree just means Erd Tree. It's a bit of an issue in translation. The ancient heroes will have to surround it with a shearing vacuum. Watch it forward as a blade like projectile. So it's an axis, colossal axe is accepted. But since we got here through sea for it, we actually already saw the. We fought one of the other gargoyles. Well, we fought a pair of gargoyles, which gave us the twin blade and the gargoyles. Should be over. somewhere over here. Can't find the one. Was it a colossal sword? It might have been a colossal. I can't find it now. Or did we get... I thought we got the gargoyle's sword. The vacuum slice. I... Well... Let's see. Great sword. Great sword. Oh, the gargoyle's great sword, but there's no corpse wax there. And yeah, vacuum slice, ancient heroes. Corpse wax, a patchworks of champions. Okay. That was in there. Let's keep on looking around. Let's see what else I can find in here. I... It's mostly just these... Little broken down buildings now, so... Can't imagine there will be much more, so we can just start... Climbing the roots, so we find another site of grace before I have to fight... Fia's champions, and then I won't be able to do anything more before... The rest... Well... Because I won't be able to beat her quest line until I do more of Ronnie's, but... That will unlock another ending, but it won't be the ending I pick. Dragon in Greece. Interesting. I guess the gargoyles do it kind of draconic in their own way. But that would be presumably for Fortisax. Which dragon Fortisax, who is a... Deathblight Dragon, who I'll be fighting here eventually. Not right now, though. So like I said, that's the end of the Fia quest line, and it won't be able to do that until I get an item from Ronnie's quest. Where is... I hear a scarab somewhere, is that it? No, it's more Basilis. Okay. Oh, alright. Oh, but I... I could upgrade... 
I could upgrade my seal and my bloodhound's fang right now. Honestly, I probably should. Well, I before the fight, before the fight. Okay, and oh come on, you. Okay, thanks and mm -hmm. just this. Come on, I, all right, all right. Oh, there are a lot of you. What gives? Huh. Thanks. Die, and we got a couple, but... Playing it a little risky. I, okay, and... Hmm. Bar is more full than I'd like. Let's chug that. Even chug this, sure. I wonder what damaged me. Oh, it was the fall from before, and... So got a couple of those back, but it didn't give me a blue flask. Interesting. Hmm. I hear a... The big question is just... Is that scarab... On the roots? Is it one that's down... In the mausoleum area that I got before, or... No, okay, I could hear it... When I was going over this way, so it should be on the branches somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be... Somewhere in this general vicinity, but I... Hmm. Oh, well, we... Poor Basilis. Come on. And... Okay, that did hit. That's good. Just worried for a second. Thank you. Two, three. Where is... Where... It's... Oh, there you are. Okay. Weirdly labyrinthian in here. We got a golden... Centipede. That... This is... Oh, a Somberstone 6. That, that's not bad. Okay. So eventually, and it won't be until I get to farm Azula, eventually I'll be able to buy Somberstones all the way up to plus 9. It's just... It'll be plus 10 that I'll need other ways to get, but... Okay, so something must be... tracking me down. It, if only I could use the map, at least. That would be nice. Not being able to use the map here is... It's one thing to not be able to teleport, it's another not be able to consult the map. And die, thank you. Flip was a bit weirdly directed. Whatever. Um, okay. Die again. Hmm. Anyone else around here? I. There's gotta be. I can't use the map, and the battle music is playing. That's my sign, but. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Probably is just a gargoyle around an obnoxious position that I can't really reach at the moment. So then, anyone else, or... Go school of war. Hmm. I still can't use that. But it... It's weirdly hard to navigate around here, because it's dark. A lot of buildings, they all look pretty similar. It... It's something. How do I want to... Well, the big thing is... Once we kill the Basilisk, they do stay dead. But I... Oh, well, there you are. I didn't know you were here. Thank you. Is that... That was not anything in particular. Okay, well... Gotta reapply our light, but... I... It's gotta be a gargoyle looking at me from somewhere. I can't think of anything else it could possibly be. Oh, there was another item. Main thing is, I got the... Oh. I got the Prince of Death Staff, which... Honest to goodness, it probably won't be until DLC that'll be better than the other option, which is the... Gelmir Glintstone Staff. Which is a special magma-associated one with... I get from farming Serpent Men, but... So that'll be once I get over to Galmir, but besides that, besides that, it, uh, I do want to upgrade it because again, it's going to be very good eventually. Not quite as good as Galmir until I get to 50 intelligence and 50 faith, but after that point it will be my best option by far. Yep, turning around on horseback is not easy, not good. Just do it like this. This led over to where the Prince of Death staff was, so 
to go around the other way to those other gargoyles, I think. But yep, you can't jump while you're getting on the horse, but you can move forward, and that leads to problems sometimes. So I'm going to sidestep those problems by only getting on the horse while I am completely stationary. And, ooh, that was almost bad. Let's not fall towards this. And that is also interesting. I, mm -hmm. That's, oh, I, oh my goodness, that was also, if that had kicked me off, I would have died. That would have not been fun. Golden Rune 8, and, oh, this is a higher level. Interesting, okay. All right, I, okay, cool. How do I want to do this? I, come on, let me get up. Cannot afford to be stupid here. It is interesting that it hit the horse instead of hitting me, though. Well. Here we are, more big slams. It is interesting that they aren't really good. Okay. I'll take that, I guess. Aren't really good bludgeoning damage, pure blunt damage, somberstone weapons, while there are a pretty decent number of pure strike damage. Well, pure piercing damage and pure slashing damage. Somberstone weapons. The biggest one is, of course, just Bloodhound Spang for slashing. Okay, so... It's gonna be interesting. Ah, right, there's this up here. There's also another set of grace down there. And, okay, they do link. That's good, but... Can I... Okay, that blocks me off. Not supposed to do that. But that over there, presumably... I would presume that's where Fia is going to be, as well as Fia's champions, but... Um, to get to a side of grace, that would be my sign to do a bit of upgrading, I think. Hmm. That's over there, but jumping onto that is going to be a pain and a half. Okay. Got to position myself very carefully so I can just jump on, get down to the lower level, and... There we go. This is... it's something. I just want to see how much Lion's Fault is going to deal. And oh wow, the, the damage alone is really, really good there. Okay. Well, I don't think that can get up on me, but that leads around the side of grace. Hmm. I... okay. Hmm. More gargoyles to get rid of, the less I have to deal with in the future. Or do I? Oh, well. Hmm. Using this to drop down is probably going to be my best bet. So let's just... The nice thing is they can't turn. It's very useful for us. That... There's an item over there, so let's grab that real quick. And another level of something out of this. Let's see what I pick. This is... is there an item here, or... Before that, I should probably... Mm. Oh my goodness, if that made me fall, that would have been infuriating. Golden Rune. Is there anything down on that level, or is it just nothing? It's probably just nothing. But, let's check. This is... Nothing? You would think there might be at least some item... Here's that stair step down there, and we can okay, we can jump that. No real reason to, but we can. And yeah, there was nothing. So that side of grace over there again should probably lead to Fia's champions. And oh, that blocks me off. So I'm gonna have to go back around this way. It'd be funny if I died here. I wouldn't like it though. It may come as a surprise to you. So then we need to get over here. And ooh, this is going to be an oh my. Oh my lord, you, you've you got to be kidding. Come on! God damn it. Stupid, stupid. At least we got a lot of remarks, but still. Uh, the horse controls are so clunky for no reason. So dumb. You know, let's take that. Alright. Stupid horse. Stupid, stupid horse. It... The fact that it does lock off 
your let's see gotta loop around here keep moving come on up mm, well probably just drop down here and loop back around to the side of grace that'll work oh but wait what no huh I all right wait so then what is this what is this then I okay huh this is can I go through here or I think okay this is a way through but wait no horse that's weird okay mmm so that must be something entirely separate then in this oh well across the roots then how do I mm, need to get my runes back then where is it it's down the big thing is we should kill this gargoyle so it doesn't interfere so where's my where is my rune stain okay, it's down there okay go through across the roots we can figure our way from there but hmm. go back to round table and do a bit of forging now level up blood hands bang and golden order seal and probably and some death staff a little I need to buy more of those well actually it won't be all that useful until much later so we'll just leave that we'll get more smith and stones anyway that that's good that's good I like that hmm Go for the Bloodhound Spang. Also quite good. Hmm. It's just so peak. Okay. I suppose the only thing to do with that is, yeah, level up. It's crazy that before reaching the sort of second half of the game area, we got some very, very strong weapons, high levels. It's nice. <laughs> Let's go back to across the roots. Loop back around. See what was over that way. But I do have maybe not runarchs to burn, but I've got six. That's a that's a good number. Let me make sure I don't die too many more stupid deaths and. Oh, there's to be as champions. Okay. So we will leave that. After I go back around. But also, I don't need Sacrificial Twig on anymore. That's right. Come on, come on. It's down. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That. And this. And jump this, which is good. But... The main thing is going to be seeing our way that funny, explosive perfume breath. It is interesting that it doesn't seem as if the other gargoyles use... Some of them use a poison attack. I haven't seen any of the others use fire attacks. But it does seem as if it's all connected to the perfume things you can use. The perfume attacks and the perfumer enemies who use those as well. The DLC also introduced perfume bottle grenade weapons, which are sort of just... Oh, and this... Oh, where does this go? That's interesting. That is quite interesting. Huh. So we can just use this to snipe the ant down. And oh, well, even with a fully charged, it does not want to have. Wow. Well, I... Okay. Perfume? No, not at all. Emily Emily is a sub-DPS who relies on burning. She deals extra damage to enemies who are on fire, as in actively afflicted by burning. 
but she doesn't buff the reaction herself. It's oh, okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure whether you knew or not. Whether you'd follow the leaks, considering you don't play the game anymore. And oh well, I oh hmm, that is something. All right, well, the shield answer, interesting as well. Come on. Oh, but that's right. I'm not dealing as much damage because I don't have a remark active. Right. Okay. Well, I. Okay. Hmm. Let's take that and can I? All right. Blast. Thank you. Shield answer. Crazy. Okay. Is this sure? Get more health and a good amount more health. Really. It. It is pretty funny that most of my deaths are just due to platforming failures. Because otherwise, it, I could just keep this room going. If only it was like Sekiro, where voiding out didn't instantly kill you and just reduce your health by a decent deal so you could heal off it. Unless you got really unlucky and got knocked into a pit after some something hit you and knocks you into a pit and, you know... Therefore, the fall damage takes out your last remaining health and you can't resurrect. Well, the void out takes out the last remaining bit of health and you can't resurrect. Okay. Big question is, what's going to be down here other than maybe ants? Uh, there's a big hole over there and I'm wondering what it leads to. Hmm. Either way, the next thing is definitely going to be finding Fia's champions. Is this? This looks like it might just be the ant hole from before. Probably is, honestly. Well, I... Go down, see what there is to see. Pick up whatever item we'll get from here. Put my starlight back on, which is the only sorcery I've got equipped. It... Intelligence builds really are almost entirely outclassed by faith builds in this game. It's kind of sad. And then... Formic Rocks, and Somberstone 7. Okay, that was probably worth it. But, oh, this just leads back to... Is this a different rune bear or the same rune bear? Can't even tell. Well, I... Let's kill this thing. I... There's no reason not to just go absolutely ham on it, so... We'll be getting other stuff back soon enough. Golden Bow... Flame Grammy Strength. Okay. Punish that. And. If I want to be fun, I could use Flask, but no, no, thank you. Thanks, and oh my goodness, this is a crazy strong room there. I, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Thanks. Heal, and. And I. Dodge, and. One. Two, and. Oh, nice. There we go. We got. Bear Critical. Good stuff, and. Can I. One and can I Nice and the water was procked and killed. Exciting. Prince of Death Sis. Oh, and from that. Oh, but I could have come here if I'd known to go behind the waterfall, I think. Beast Bone, Blood Quamp, greatly raises vitality, fetid overgrown cyst, taken from facial flesh. Greatly raises vitality, resistance to the effects of death, corrupted visage, one unable to drive to true death. That was Godwin, yeah, Prince of Death, Son of the Golden Bow, and First of the Dead Among the Demigods. Interesting, and this, yeah, I could have found this if I'd known, but I didn't know. This just led us back over here. Well, that's interesting. The smithing stone, though I wouldn't have been able to get any other way. Okay. Oh. Well. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Let's talk as Queen America herself. Let's just use those. Get another level before our boss fight. Let's take. Let's go for dexterity. That is always nice. Hmm. All right. Got buffs ready, but I should probably. Allocate a few more health flasks, just in case. Mm -mm. Okay. Just got through here, we'll have to fight Thea's champions. 
so maybe order healing could be okay, but I don't know. Hmm. Golden Val. Flame grant me strength. It's on and Flame Grant me strength is probably gonna be the one I want to reapply, but get over here. People will start coming over. Come on. Oh, wait, what? That took some time. Come on, Fia's champions. When is it gonna... That's actually weird. I... When is the fight going to start? Can't use that in here, but... Hmm. Well, okay. And the way gate isn't doing it either. Well, there we go. It took that long. Thanks, dearest champion, and- oh my goodness, okay. These are all based on players, actually, which is cool. Hmm, alright, and thanks, and- oh, nice, we have- we are in pretty good position. Thanks, and- alright, there we go. Hmm. It's gonna keep coming. Thank you, and- oh, with this death route- oh, Regier, right! That's right. Forgot about that one, okay. Cool. Last one should be Lionel the Lionhearted. And there we are, and... Oh, multiple, multiple, oh, Fia's Champion. Lionel the Lionhearted, and oh, this might be tough. Okay, can I... Thanks, and... Go in, and you got Fia's... Oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting. Alright, at least their damage is nothing special. Okay, I... Let's put on Blood Flame Blade, and... Can I... Roll, roll. Hmm. Golden Vow would be good as well. Gotta get that back up, but can we get staggered out of this? I oh my goodness. I can't. It's not good. Yeah, the time it takes to put up Golden Vow is worrisome. I oh my goodness, I What? Come on! Go to hell. Okay. But The issue is just I didn't know when they would show up. So I buffed way earlier than I should have. And that was not good. Oh, I also should have. <clears throat> That's another Runark down. Let's mix this. Take. Dexterity. Yeah, Dexterity will be our best option. Well, okay. That was annoying. But, the ones that just say Fia's Champions are actually other players who have... If you allow Fia to hold you, you will become a Fia's Champion and become summonable in the fight. And over here is the big Crypts of Godwin. He looks a bit mermaid-like, too. This is interesting. It's a... Uh, Japanese mythological thing, to my knowledge. Okay. Getting close. We're gonna buff up. Thank you. Be good around here, and... Should be the place. More or less. Mmm, I still did it a little early, I think. Okay, there we go. Cool. Alright. Thanks, and... Okay. Rush in it. Seems they gave me the same one as last time. That's interesting. Okay. Come on, Rajir. Thank you, and... Alright. Thanks. I. Alright. Move back in, and... Oh, and the blood loss already brocked. Nice. Probably time to reapply that. Okay. Take out... Others. As quickly as possible. The weak ones, the ads. So, nice, and... Oh, come on. Okay, and... Another, another, and... An okay, cool. Dodge, and... Mm. Ooh, that's fun. Mm -mm. And all those death sorceries are something. And oh my goodness. All right. Mm -mm. I, okay, and thanks. Rush back in. Kill. And now it's just you. Hello, hello, hello. And mm -mm. I, all right. And mm -mm. stance is good. Do that again. And move back in. Kill. And another. There we go. Cool. That was what we needed to do. Great enemy fell, and Fia's missed. Fia missed? 
There she is. Mist of Death before Caster. Eh, that I could use it. No reason to. Death of Mist before the Caster puts Death Blight upon those who enter, and at anything but really low levels, Death Blight is basically useless. Cast one motion, shortening the hands range of the Mist. Developed to oppose the round table hold, effective only against the Tarnished. Guess I wonder where that wig is going to send me, but yeah, it probably exists just so you don't have to do a race teleportation. It's a Death's Throne, and I. Hmm. Probably mind. Sure. There you are, Fia. Hello. Nice to see you again. But we cannot progress until more happens. Misfortune. Legs. Hello. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways? No, no, no. Of the golden order. I'm just having fun. All right, we do have to pick this option. You are an odd one. Yeah. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Mm. Still Lots of witches in this game. Oh, we don't even get to say anything more. This will progress. Can't change the camera angle right now either. Interesting. Well, no I can. Never mind. Another Bolikin's Blessing. Talking secret. She needs a curse mark of death. Hold the centipedes around here. Recovered at the round table hold. Hmm. But there is another hollow brand out there somewhere. We need Ronnie's. Before the time comes, we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a hollow brand scored his flesh, but another exists. Because Ronnie killed her body at the same time as Godwin died, and Godwin's soul died. Ronnie remained alive in soul only, Godwin in body only. May be dirtied once more by the deed. Mm. Will you still let me hold you? Even then? Sure, why not? Okay. Alright. Bulligan's blessing. The poison grease means basically nothing to us, though. Mm. Question is, can I use my horse in here now? And I still cannot use the horse in here. Okay. Hmm. The question is where that's going to send me. Might be on to Ansel, maybe? But, yeah, the only way to get that is to go to the Divine Tower of Lyurnia, which requires assistance from Ronnie. Hmm. Well then. Well then. wonder what else might be in this arena. I would presume nothing, but you always have to check. It's hilarious how big of an arena it is for just Fia's champions, but if I recall correctly, it gets reused for the fight against Witch Dragon Fortis Axe, so it makes a bit more sense that way. Mm -mm. Do I want to do this? Mm -mm. Come on, come on. And that over there is the hollow tree where I Fought and just utterly destroyed and humiliated Crucible Knight Soluria by parrying the spear attacks and just blasting with catch flame. Yeah, we've mostly gone through here. Let's just teleport back and see where that Wigate takes us. Hmm. Where will this send me? To another location. Hmm. This is... That's a DLC location. Hmm. Oh, and it... Oh, what? It sends you to Landell? Oh, wow. That's interesting, but I... I am not going to interact with a side of... You know, I... I could interact with a side of Bracer. That is an option. Oh, right, because... You can... This is another way to access... Lando. That's right. 
I totally forgot about that, but... This is the mid-game dungeon right here. But... Let's see. Crack weeding into the herb tree. This is going to be interesting. This means I could see the other side of the gate blocked off by the Draconic Tree Sentinel. I wonder what that would be specifically. What it looks like from the other side. Well, that... To be fair, I could also just... Actually fight the Draconic Tree Sentinel now, given that I have... Two great runes, but... The door should still be closed. Hmm. Yeah, because you actually don't need... You don't actually need to get two great runes if instead you... Well, to get to Super Aqueduct, you still need to kill Radon. But even then, it... Hmm. Capital outskirts. So there's no other way into Super Depths, to my knowledge. Well, I am not going to activate that. <laughs> I have no intention of getting that all started. The big thing is... And I can use my horse. What if I went through from the other side? What would happen? And yep, it... I just can't do it. Alright. So, yeah. Okay. Which means that the only thing to do now is just go back to Ansel River, Maine. But before I continue any further, I need to go to the bathroom. So I'll be right back. Be right back.
Okay, I returned. It's time to keep going and see what there is to find here. I, I'm not even sure there's a boss in this area. But, we'll see what happens. I got my fire, so... This should be decent. There's a boss in the Lake of Rot over around this way. But I don't quite remember whether there's a boss in Ansel River Main itself. In particular because there was already the Dragon King Soldier of Noxtella, which... Noxtella, which I fought beforehand, yeah, exactly. We'll figure it out. Ooh, but... That is... They are weak to holy. I... Hmm... Let's see what happens. And I slam and... Well, that damage was very nice. Okay. Slam. And the degree to which they get knocked back by attacks, they just slide in a weird kind of way that makes them pretty annoying to deal with. Two in a single collection. Huh. Come on. The Ool Palace Ruins. Then. Okay, it'd be funny if destroyed that wall and just hit me through it. Wouldn't make me happy. Okay. So... Shoot rocks. Oh, this big shrapnel barrage. Oh, wow. Okay. Can I... Right, you can't use your horse in here. That's right. Over in seven. Come on. Come on. I want a Miranda flower down there. Stone four. Let's keep working our way around. Hit that thing from behind once we get close. Hmm. Oh, and great, more clay man. Just what I like to see. Not really. Come on. And ooh, okay. Ooh, that was a bit much. And there are a lot of you. Oh, so it was an ambush. Exciting. Okay. Cool. And another hit. And I over. Okay, the range on that was good. Okay. Hmm. Can I slam and dodge? Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. These guys are easier to deal with than they were last time, but they're still not great by any means. Come on. Thank you. Let's just take that. And oh, while well, I wasn't moving forward, is the thing. And there we go. We took them out and should be. It didn't seem to be. Tired of a group, that was the thing. Okay, so we go down here. Let that go through. And these glove warts work our way around the side. Kill that thing. And oh, another clayman is right here. How exciting. Come on, get down. Get down. Okay, there we go. Okay. Slam. Slam. Okay. And it's time for sorcery. Time for revenge, really. Okay, so how do I want to... And I... Hmm, okay. Oh, my... Oh, all right. Okay. Slam and... Really? Okay. Hmm. Okay. I... There we are. Just gotta space ourselves a bit. And... Hmm. Okay, I... All right. Hmm. I... Oh, well... Hmm. Okay. I... Mm -hmm. So the distance is a hard thing. And get up. There we go. The stupid thing's dead now. Okay. All right. And we did not get... Oh, we got a Somberstone 7. That's not bad. Didn't get anything of serious note, though. What I do know is I should try to interact with another set of grease around here. Find another. So eventually this looks back, but if I go down here, there's an item, if I recall correctly, on the way down to this part we couldn't go up when we first went here from we are any proper. If only we could use the horse right now. That would be amazing. It's interesting that you can use it in Seafra and Nokron, but not Noxtella and Ansel. Whatever. Worst things can happen. Okay. 
So is this a drop down or it's a gradual slope, so I would be able to get back and Formic Rocks would only be good for the Acid Spray Mist, but it Acid Spray Mist might be good. The big thing is for the Power Shred debuffs. And I think Reducing enemy attack would be a good idea, but to be fair, I would think that using their physical attack power is probably the, going to be the least important most of the time. I don't know. Aw, aw. Over here, get on that. What else there is to see? Is there anything up here? There is not anything up here. Just these statues of giant things holding smaller things. I cannot really assume it's a baby. Hmm. Come on. Come on. See more glove warts, it seems. The nice thing is that now with that giant malformed star gone, I can just... This area wasn't even big, but go through here without having to worry now. The real question is just, what is it going to be like going through Lake of Rot? Because I do have... Flame cleanse me already on there to just unrot myself whenever needed, but it's still a crazy area. Human bone shard. Not other than rancor pots, which I tried using a couple of times, does not do much. Okay. Materials, herba, melted mushroom. Hmm. Interesting. Nascent butterfly. So it's down there, but in the end, the other Malform star would not be. Big thing is that all the claymen will respawn, and it's not like they'd be too threatening. I could just run away. The issue is whether I'd still be able to escape after. Well, be able to just teleport out after that. Okay. Come on, come on. How many? Miranda flowers are around here. Oh, a stone sword key. Not bad. Is, are these ones death blight? It might be death blight. Uh, and oh, they're madness. All right. Hmm. Okay. And really, all right. Huh. Surprised me. How much? Hmm. Take some time for that to come back. I. This should have just been frenzied burst fodder. Yeah. Oh, but wait, huh? Huh? Alright. I'm surprised at how- Oh, it definitely has different resistances because it's- That frenzy is fire, so that makes sense. Okay, and oh my goodness, I- Alright. This is actually scary. Hmm. Alright, if we just shoot another couple of frenzied bursts at it, it should die. And then we can- Deal with everything else on its own terms. Thank you, go away. And these claymen are annoying as always. Hmm. But they're slow, which means I can just take out the Miranda flowers by whooping around them, cutting them a bit, and then do the rest. Okay. Then we put the quad back on. Right over here, thank you. Hmm. It... It's nice to have a dedicated bonking weapon. There's really no disputing that. Okay, and... Can I, well, we took a bit of damage, but... We'll take that. Hmm. What else? And this is where... Stone Sword Q is on you. But it... I don't even know how many more things are in the game... That I can even use stone sword keys on. That'll even be good for at this point, but I Clayman Ashes, but Huh? I oh, that was almost a fall. I don't think I can even get down here, can I? I hmm. Hmm, if I die another time, might want to hmm. I think you can, but... Hmm. Pick up item. This is... Oh, it's just some poison blooms from the Mirandas. To kiss Urba. But there's a weapon. 
that I think shows up around here if you drop down. But I... Hmm. I worry. I worry. It... Hmm. That looks... dangerous. Might be here instead, I'm not quite sure. By the way, it's supposed to loop back around somewhere, and the fact that the clay man ashes were there suggests to me that was it. Sluggish but hard with staggered bowed with age, work remains a priest who search for revelation, oracles, and service of the ancient dynasty. Two sources that produce smaller and larger bubbles, both of which I have, neither of which I particularly plan to use. It is funny that the bubble sorceries take arcane to use. It's very, very funny. But also I... Oh, that's right, I do... I did make these Star Surge Greatswords basically for the specific purpose of taking out gravity enemies, so... Just see, how far could I take? Yeah, I could take the Star Shirt's Red Swords and probably Radon's bow too. Oh, hi Kozu. How are you doing? We are going through Ansel River, Maine, which will eventually lead us to Noxtella Eternal City. Waterside, water slide? Having fun? Okay. How do I want to do this? Oh, well, if you're sleepy, get some sleep. You owe it to yourself. Don't run yourself ragged out of some misplaced sense of obligation. Oh, come on. And... Well, actually, Catch Flame would probably be better. Uh, oh my goodness. That much damage? You, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, I... I don't know. I think... Nap time and non-nap time are subjective. Come on. I've taken I've taken naps far later than this. Simulating boluses for anti-sleep, wary of enemy. Then one by one required ahead. Oh, more ants. Want to go home? Bug oh bug. Well the nice thing is, is that you can snipe these insufferable things. Frenzied burst. Oh well it There you go. Frightening. And, well, that that will kill, too. Let's see where we go. Could this be a grace? Vision's a bug. It is not a grace. Bug ahead, and then seek circling around. Where are the rest? Okay, please. Don't, don't throw your life away. I beg of you. Oh, eight golden runes? Okay, that's actually only 40,000, but that's still another level, presumably. Shield Grease. Oh, nice! You did say you were big into horror, right? So how could I... Mm, the Shielded Ant is... going to suck. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, I... Alright. Can I... Dodge! Ooh, well, that actually wasn't all that much damage. I... Dodge it! Okay, come on. What? Huh? Oh my goodness, I... And... okay, cool. What? Oh! Oh, that damages too? That's ridiculous. Okay, come on. I... Huh, I need to... put on some more different spells, probably. Better buffs. Come on. Okay. Golden Vow. And Flame Grant Me. And then, where are you going to go? Hmm... Come on, come on. Uh, Alright. Oh, even with that up, that's good damage. Nice. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Okay, if you're gonna keep shooting at me, but not be able to actually hit... There we go, there we go. Okay. Stupid, stupid ant. So the question is, is the weapon going to be around here? This giant pit of people eaten by ants. Let's put Starlight back on, and... I know this is loops it back around the initial lower area where we were before, but chaos. This is is this a star collar? Should be a star collar, I think. So what is he up to? Wool Palace Ruins. Hello then. One, two, yeah? What? Oh what? Ooh, is that a sign? Okay, well. 
This, this may come as a surprise to you, but I'm not exactly eager to chop off my shoulder and send it to somebody in the mail. It sounds painful. Treasure chest ahead and try jumping. Oh, so... Have to... Hmm. Can I... Ooh, maybe you could... Maybe I... No, that... Hmm. Either way, this was the way down to... No, actually, this is different, right? This is different. Have to... Yeah, have to drop down here to get to that. I was confusing it with the area down below. It... I can't imagine it would be all that fun. How do I want to... Hmm. Is this... Oh, there is a treasure chest right over here. So what's in here? What is this, then? Is this going to be the Wing of a Stall? Let's see. This is... Ah, there we go. Wing of a Stall. Yeah. Delicate wings suffused with the magic of the stars. Wave of enchanted light strong attack. Relic of the natural born of the void set to assail the eternal city. Hope we fight him later. Fight it later. Jane Nebula. Wings of magic. Dark cloud of stars. Just briefly before exploding. That's good. That said, it, I don't need split damage weapons, really. Very least, it, I'm pretty sure Star Scourge Great Swords would be a better option. Let's see. How do I want to do this? So, whatever this was, this just loops back around, but I think this still is going to be interesting if I really need to do magic damage or something, but this gives you so many somber stones, so few, so few regular smithing stones in comparison, and they're just... It's not as if normal smithing stones are easier to get a full supply of, because the bell bearings are just as hard to get. In fact, the somber stone one, the highest somber stone bell bearing, you have to get. You get it from God's can do it near the end of the game, if I recall correctly. Oh, now we can see it. we can see the artificial sky. Hmm. Hmm. Go glove war, and then let's go up over here. This is, okay, it's not an elevator. How do I do this then? Noxdell Eternal City, beautiful. Okay, so this is a drop down that I can't quite do. Big thing is, if I manage to knock the Nox off of their giant ants, it should let me have them fight their own ants, which should help make things a bit easier. Going through here, we've gone through the... It's interesting, because that's... Both of these are Ool Palace ruins, but they're labeled separately. It's kind of like how... Over here in Sifra, there are two separate Hallowhorn grounds. And then Nakra, Night Sacred Ren, Aqueduct are all different. Yeah! Well, it was a give me your shoulder kind of thing. Which... I just remember back in... What is this? Back in high school, there were some theater kids I knew who got together, and... He asked... He asked her out by... Carrying a bunch of limes. It's always cake first with you, isn't it? By holding on to... Carrying a bunch of limes, and then... Dropping them in front of her... And saying he was bad at pickup lines. This was a long time ago. And if we just kill that ant, and oh, that took more than I expected. Well, it worked. Can't argue with results. Thank you. So if you manage to knock them off their ant, the ant will attack them because their ants are not trained in as much as dominated. But. It would be easier to just kill the ants and then take them down while they're on the ground, so... I don't think I'll be doing it that way. It's pretty, too. It's also a very pretty area. Another fake scar. Back in the caveman times of probably around 2016. Then if I recall correctly... She went on to date his best friend, and... You know, that, that, I feel like that kind of thing always happens with people I know. 
And not e not all of them are even theater kids. Smithing stone six. Okay. Well, it... It's... It's normal theater kid behavior. For better or worse. They're, they're not exactly the most... Ethical of people. Yeah. I didn't expect that to happen. And so, rush back in it. How did that not hit? And oh my goodness. Okay, can I... Hmm. It's the Nox Monk, and okay, we... I thought one of these guys is a mini-boss in the Eternal in... Sally Town of Sorcery before. Quickly, brief effect owing to a small size. I... I could use stuff like Golden Vow right now, but it would... It would take a while. And that really is what it is to me. It's just... I could probably manage to buff before every fight if I really cared to, no matter how small. It's just... It would take so much time that I would get bored of that incredibly quickly, and so would you. Oh, but right, there's water down here. Okay. Hmm. I think... Another level soon. Okay, Silver Tear Husk. So presumably there are going to be... Right, there are going to be other... Silver Tears in here somewhere. Because they're weapons, they're... Weird flexible weapons were made out of silver tears themselves. And oh, there we go. We got just silver tears down there. Spirit collar snails? Oh. That. That's always weird. Celestial do. I remember hearing. Reading, and God knows whether it was true or not, because it was another internet story, but. About some people who were dating. And then their divorced parents ended up marrying each other, and their parents demanded they break up because it was inappropriate. And they were just, well, we, we were dating before you got married, and, you know, why should we have to... It was almost certainly made up, honestly. But it's interesting to think about. So those are electric silver tears. I wonder if they resist lightning damage. Okay, so I guess a lot of people tell stories like that. It... I guess it would be kind of standard. Okay, so even though these ones use lightning... Oh, they... Lightning explosion, too. Okay. Hmm. So there are more spirit caller snails over here. Well, the lesser snails, because they don't actually call spirits. You know, we could... Well, okay. So otherwise they try to ambush me, but if we just... Hit one down, they'll all drop down together, but... There really was nothing over here, was there? Look carefully ahead. Wait. Is there a ladder or what? I am going crazy. My goodness. How do I... Huh? I... Okay? Okay? Well, I... I guess it was just... Ha ha chump, you went down here. You thought you'd get something. Oops, there's nothing. Oh well. Another silver tier. So these ones can sometimes drop gravel stones, if I recall correctly, which are serpent arrows? Oh, from the serpent. The serpent dropped the serpent arrow. No, the snail dropped the poisonous snail dropped. Why did I just call it snail a serpent? Maybe I do need to get taken out back and shot. Mm-hmm. A Bizarre Love Triangle? The song by New Order? New Wave Classic? Oh, come on. We can just... take you down. Thank you, and another should hopefully do it. Thanks, and can I... Mmm, and the dismount time is... not enough. I... alright. Mmm. We getting closer? Getting close and let me... Bloodhound Snake, oh my goodness, okay. Stop! Why the New Order slander? They are a classic band. Also, they, they exist because of trauma. I thought you would respect that at least. Okay. And, oh, well, mm hmm. Alright. Really? Okay. Okay, well... Okay, so that interesting. Well, if we just use normals, we could probably keep her staggered. 
Are, are there... Don't take this the wrong way, but are there, are there non-meme songs in Italy? That would... Okay, so that will probably get us up. And then... Okay, I don't I don't know all of Funiculi Funicula. That is that is the Pizza Time song. How, how do you feel about the Pizza Time meme? Do you feel it's disrespectful to Italians? Not expecting? Not expecting, well, in, I think it was Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation, it, they used Funiculi Funicula as the pizza delivery song, and it's kind of a meme. The, the pizza time meme. Oh, and it dealt damage to the other one when it exploded. That's cool. I remember when I was on tour in Italy during that club tour, the tour guide did play a bunch of quote-unquote iconic Italian songs for us, and one of them was Be Bella Ciao. And he said it was from some. He said that it got a lot of popularity recently because of a Netflix show. Well, I suppose you would know more about that than me. And can I? There we go. We can get. We were close to the duty. Critical because it fell down. And there we go. That's nice. Swords first one was really annoying, honestly. If only I had an actual capable AOE right now. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, but if you aim for the middle, just. Have it blow up all the others, too. That's right. Get a chain reaction going. There we go. Nice. What kind of Puyo Puyo? Okay. And... I think it was... It's from some show called Money Heist, if I recall correctly. For whatever reason, they used Bella Ciao. That's what he told us. Come on. This is- oh, the, the shielded ones are- yeah, that's still killed. Okay. Come on. And go ahead, explode. Oh, did he watch it? Was it good? Hmm. It is funny that these guys are basically just the phalanx from Demon Souls. There's also a phalanx in Dark Souls 1, but originally Demon Souls, so... Hmm. Come on, come on. Okay. Let's hit you and... Oh, you fell down. Alright. Oh, but you can't lock onto them until they get all the way back up. Yeah. That's that's what we were told. That it was... I think... A partisan song... From World War II originally. Is that right? Golden Rune 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ghost Squad War 8. Anything else or... Okay, that doesn't say anything all that special. Let's see. Spirit tuning may perform this deed, but it... Okay, interesting. Great Ghost School of War. Five, six, seven, eight. No nine yet, but... I wonder if they have any other descriptions of that. If it's just all the same. Ghost School of War. It's a Ghost School of War. It's not a lot of great School of War. It's... Huh. Well, I suppose, because this is still technically a decently late game area. How many seeds do I have? I... Oh, it would be in bolstering materials, so I guess I don't have any right now. I could see that. That makes sense. Oh, so what's in here? It didn't expect bug, just single golden centipede. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, thank you. 
And then... <clears throat> I'll do lover. Somber... Oh, somber so nice. Okay. Really do need to find more... Something dropped down. Oh, okay, hello. Hi there, hello. Let's see if we can get any AoE on the... That was nice. Blow up and hit the other one. Good. Thanks. I wonder if any of them are going to drop a gravel stone. But it is interesting because the fact that they drop gravel stone implies a sort of draconic connection, maybe. I These guys suck enough. I'm going to buff up to fight them. Especially since there are two right now. Okay. Flim grab me strength and then use a frenzy burst. Thank you, cool. And, oh, we got close, but actually no cigar. Frankly, actually, they'd probably be better fought with. Actually, this this might kill. Yeah, that's a one-tap, exciting. Okay, so then I... Hmm, blast, blast. What, the, the ants? I suppose. Okay, can I... Hmm, what's... Oh my goodness. That, that inflict blood loss? I don't think, it just... That was kind of crazy. Hmm. You hate ants. They're irritating. They get everywhere. And, well, actually, they're going to be easier to fight when they're on ant backs. So, probably kill them while they're still on there and then kill the ant. Hmm. What do you hate? Slime? Okay. Let's see if we can hit multiple like this. Aim for the center of the group and Oh that is too far away. Huh. Okay. Boom. And that did not connect. Oh. Hmm. That sucks. I am sorry I have to deal with that then. Hmm. How many more? That should probably go down to. That should probably go down to Lake of Rot, so... We will. Guess I could activate that elevator and then see what else might be in Noxtella. Probably be some other treasure here somewhere. But I know that... Eventually we'll be able to get the miniature Ronnie in... Ansel River, Maine. Probably where we started, and then there's a Baleful Shadow. I think it might be around here. Hmm... You screech. Interesting. Well, I guess something good comes of it then. Maybe. But the, the lack of range on that is interesting. Would have expected a bit more. So let's actually some of these down. Well, it, if it seems you found your purpose in life. That, that might be a good thing. Hopefully. Come on. Come on. Thank you. So what's in there? Oh, okay. Fair enough. And how much would we deal with lightning? The big thing is, is that they'll have less lightning resistance when they're in water. Luckily, precious item, and they give lots of celestial dew down there, and I... I haven't made a single NPC angry, and I don't plan to make a single one angry. Okay. Oh! I forgot about that. Right. I thought it was just its own thing. A separate joke. Let's take these stupid ants down. Come on, come on. Let's take that and... Frenzy verse. Okay. Well, in that case, I should have remembered it better. Oh, well, you are... Mm, okay. Uh, Alright. Okay. Mm, oh, and that, that hit. Whatever, I... Okay. Well, now you're dead, and... Big thing is going to be figuring out a way to hit this one. What Italian context, specifically? Come on, come on. I... Alright. Thank you, and... Boom! There we go. Cool. Well, it's gonna be past all these ants. Hmm. Seems there's a little... 
passage in the rock? So what is this going to lead to? Huh. It leads to nothing. Nice. I may be an idiot. Okay. Maybe maybe I'm just unlucky. That'd be a nicer way to say that. Mm, well, it... Every enemy I kill is more runes, and every bit more runes is closer to the next level, so... It's all good. I'm just surprised that not a single one has dropped a gravel stone. Oh, that... There was no item, but... Every enemy I kill is... A source of more runes. So it's not that bad. Which eventually means more levels and more strength. It could be much, much worse. Let's see what's over here then. What else is over in the area that doesn't lead to Lake of Rot? Yeah, exactly. You always have to look on the bright side of life. I don't think those ones are going to be shielded, hopefully. We'll see. But... Oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but apparently Emily is going to work really well with Kinich. Or so people are saying. Which would be really nice. Because his gameplay does look really, really fun. I like that he has a grapple, and I like that he uses it in combat. And the, the fact that you can... If you've seen his mechanics, essentially, you're supposed to circle around enemies to get to sort of marked a marked quadrant around them in a big circle. Basically, when you grapple, when you start grappling, you start going around enemies in a circle. And you can... A quadrant of that circle gets marked off, and if you go into that quadrant, you charge up your big cannon shot faster. Well, the other thing is that his grapple is... It's his own personal combat mechanic before anything else. So... And you can argue that... It's a little scummy to link it to one character, but it's also just basically the Dendro Saurian ability, apparently, too. For better or worse, it is interesting because apparently there's... I think her name is Zolonan or something like that. Gonna be a Geo 5 star because Kachina has her funny little B car that presumably it has climbing abilities, which is going to make it somewhat like... I think the Tepeti Sori, the Mountain Saurian Wizards. But given that she's a 4-star, it stands to reason that the Geo 5-star would have a better approximation, I suppose. But I do intend to hopefully get everyone, which is why I didn't roll for Nilu. Emily, and then all the Nawan ones that come out, and then hopefully when Chronicle Banners come back for Sumeru or for... Inazuma, I can get those characters that way. Okay, I don't want to respawn enemies, so... Hopefully there's going to be a side of Greystone here that I can use, and then just go back up the elevator. We'll see. Hmm. Then, of course, you also have Milani, who... Oh, and there we go. This is the other side of where we fought the Dragon King Soldier. Let's activate that real quick, but not rested it quite yet. Noxtel Waterfall Basin, because this is where we found the soldier. We could see down into here, but we couldn't get there. So that will lead to Lake of Rot eventually. Hmm. But, as I was saying... Hmm. Milani's Shark... Surfing looks good, and the big thing that separates it from something like Furina, and it is, of course, a gimmick to sell kits, but the fact that she can go on lava. Or actually, technically, it's not lava, it's full of gistin, but who's really counting? Hmm. I'm trying to see. Where do I go? Hmm. But, if I recall correctly, Phlogiston was an ancient... Well, as in, do a double jump in midair. I was not aware of that. 
I saw that some of the shark jumps were really high, but I'm not sure I would call that flight. Okay, so that's down there. There's also way up over here, way up over there. Mm -hmm. So what's over this way? Mm -hmm. Let's see. This... Mm -hmm. I think lightning would be a good option to deal with them. They really annoying to deal with in melee, so we'll focus on trying to hit them from range. Hello, hello. And we got that. Yep, go ahead now, go ahead. Thanks. Okay, cool. So what's through here? And there was that great ghost glove ward. Again, not that we need it. So what's in here? Always flower. Oh, it's gonna be another glove ward, won't it? Probably. Whatever. Oh, a Ghost Glover 9. Well, it... Now to ashes, and this is close. So if I really, really wanted to, I could actually just... I could upgrade the Mimic to Ashes all the way to plus 10. They're... Mm, Rook Spirits, Miscorus of Death, in the hopes their stories would become a legend. Mm, interesting. But it's... Maybe I could level Latena, just to be nice to her. She's part of the class. Maybe. Yeah, just to see if there's any special dialogue, I may as well level Latena to plus 10. Plus Laten, uh, okay. Oh, so those are Ghost Flame Lanterns, it seems. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, now we have more Silver Tiras. Alright. Over here. Already seen that. And, okay, another nascent butterfly. It is interesting that they... The Mikola butterflies are in Eternal Cities for some reason, but... You are annoying. Okay. Oh, and you've got a Silver. Oh, that was probably Night Maiden's Nest. Okay. Well, there we go. It is nice that they don't actually dodge. The lightning attacks. Okay. Yeah, just for whatever reason, enemies don't dodge lightning spear. Maybe it... Sometimes... Sometimes they do. Maybe it's the uncharged version that they don't dodge, and sometimes they'll dodge charged versions. It... It's interesting, but... It's nice that every single one has been giving me more... Flash usages. And then we... Sorceress armor. Mm -hmm. Sorceress is the Eternal City. Personal guards of the Night Maidens wear silk capes, but we haven't seen a Night Maiden, but they use Night Maiden's mist. Nox invoke the Ire of the Greater Will. Banish deep underground under a false night sky. Nox. Eternal anticipation of their weege, coming edge of the stars, and their Lord of Night. Okay, so this is... That's nothing. So this one was actually a chest. It's more confusing than it needed to be. Oh, Ant's Skull Plate. That's a sh great shield. Poison buildup. Hmm. That huge head of one of the giant ants inhabit the two underground rivers. But it, they are not in Seifer, though. They're Deep Root and Ansel, but not in Seifer. Ex excels at repelling enemy attacks. Giant ants are venomous creatures. Boost immunity when wielding this shield. Shield Bash. Hmm. Okay, well, that's an informed attribute. It doesn't see that immediately. Okay. Well, there are going to be more things to toss lightning at around here. We have to... Oh, we have to do that. More fan daggers. Not that important, though. Okay. Giant silver tears will be around. Hmm. Come on, then. Come on. Take that, and more Cerulean. I am glad that there is something that I can use lightning on with relatively high effectiveness. And, okay, we, yeah, I should have been using chain reaction stuff to avoid using too much FP here, maybe. Come on. Oh, and we hit it as it was falling, too. Fun. Okay. So the farther away I stay, Let's chance up of getting my getting rolled. Okay. Who else is around here? I know that there's gonna be a big boulder 
Sorry, this is a rolling tier around here, so... Gonna have to not be stupid about it. Come on. And, oh, what? Huh? So what's this? It is funny how much Celestial do- Oh, Archer Ashes, and that. Fallen Hawks, Archers, imbued with Cold Ghost Flames, some Crude Squadron, Herald of Arrows, and Unison, the sound of a war cry. It's interesting that- But I don't think there are any actual Fallen Hawks around here. There were some- The only ones were all in Nokron. And I suppose Super Aqueduct, but that's basically Nokron. It's not connected to the well. Oh, but these are not lightning ones, so... Huh. And it does seem as if... It's a good option for piercing their shields, too. Oh, that's nice. So what else is in here? Also a... Oh, and they melee... Melee lance. So suppose the ones that throw their lances don't have shields and the ones with shields only stab with them? Those words petrified people really do look like. Oh, Ghost Goldport Picker's Bell Bearing, but I really don't need that, do I? But, look at that, and they look like the bath messengers from Bloodborne. They really do. Hmm. Anything around here, and can't even get through there. They probably use that to block off the edge so people wouldn't go over there and probably die for no reason. Silver Jew Husk, and what else in where? I Golden Rune. Oh, hello there. Hi. Hmm. Okay. Eventually, this will lead me back to another Golden Seed, which will be nice. It's a while for that thing to knock down. Hmm. Oh, hello. What's in here? On the left, I'm so glad I checked. So, Golden Rune 10. You are going to be very, very strong by the time we actually get to Altus. So presumably that would have been a grab attack, but we avoided it through just dumb luck. Funny, something tried to drop down, but I was invincible because of the chest opening animation. Somber Smithing Stone 7, and yeah, I we're in a pretty good position. Well, I could use that on Wasat's staff, maybe. The only thing that would specifically be good for it would be weapon buffs, which, well, the joke writes itself. Can I? I can get up and over here, which... Oh, wait. Try down. Oh, so we have to go around, presumably, to get that. But that does seem like something a stone sword key would open, so... There's a Nox over there. Hmm. So then... So then... How am I going to get in there? Oh, just from this side, so... And this requires only one key. Okay, cool. There's going to be a Nox on the other side. Multiple Swordstresses. So the question is, what could be in here to possibly make... To make this worth it? Thank you, and... Toss. And, oh, is that... That's actually a priest. Okay. The other one coming now, or... Oh, wait. No, the other one is not approaching at all. Didn't feel like it. Hmm. Okay. Yep, this is just the other side where we were, so... What kind of items are going to be in here? This is... Nothing. Where's the chest? I... Here it is! I do find it funny how they sort of hide the chest by making it look like other things in the room. I made in swords for... Puppets. Not ashes, but puppets. Old puppet crafted in the Eternal City, spirits of a knight maiden and a sword's wrist. Cold blooded race who wield flowing weapons became puppets of their own volition. Huh. It was interesting, because I suppose that would suggest that the art of puppetry originated like a lot of sorcery from the Eternal City. Huh. That but a Night Maiden. Huh. But, because you have Celiavis associated with the Sorceress, who both make puppets. And both of them are supposed to be somewhat unpleasant characters. Though, one of them far less so. And, okay, there we go. 
Oh, then. Hi. Oh, you are strong. Let's just stay away from here. Actually, stun you by tossing lightning. Okay, cool. That's fine. Good thing I didn't have to fight that thing face to face. Or up close. It doesn't it doesn't even have a face. Okay. Silver True Husk. A larval deer, which I am not going to use. Mimicry required. Just level up and it's interesting that. Hmm. Looks a bit like a stomach or another organ. Hmm. It's curious. Golden Room 10. Hmm. What else is around here? But it should lead around to. You can barely see it, but that sapling is over there. We'll be able to get another golden seed, I think. And. Hmm. I think we only need 15 more total in order to max out our flask uses. And only four more sacred tiers in the game, I think. And I think three of them are all in Mountaintops of the Giants, which is kind of crazy. But it makes sense because, again, you get diminishing returns for using sacred tiers to upgrade your flask. Healing or restoration capacity. Healing or FP. And... By putting a bunch at the end of the game, it makes it somewhat easy for people to catch up if they haven't gotten a bunch already. But also, make sure that it's still a decent reward for people who have already gotten all the others. And they're exactly enough sacred tiers in the game to upgrade your flask to maximum in one new game cycle. It was interesting. And is there anything in here? I... Oh, well, alright. I was not expecting that. Okay, cool. Hmm. Can I... Yeah, if you just keep tossing lightning, it can't do much to you. Just gotta face it head on. Okay. There we go, there we go. And another larval tier. Okay. Hmm. Silver tier husk, and... It's not it. So what is this? Getting started. But oh, 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 okay. Well, it's just I don't really need the hose. I don't use those for much of anything. Hmm. But what was I saying again? Well, whatever. But. Weapon, weapon upgrades. Yeah, there are exactly enough sacred tiers to get your flask to maximum plus 12 in a single new game cycle. There are... This seems like a place where a big boulder would try to crush me. Hmm, this is... worrisome. Golden Rune 10. Where is it going to be? Or maybe not. Okay. Take that too. But there are far more golden seeds than you need to get to 15 flask uses. Because all the sacred tiers are in churches and other somewhat conspicuous locations, but the golden seeds are far more scattered. Smithing stone six and a golden centipede, and don't have the ride, it's not actually a door. At least not one that can be opened. Pyre ahead, yep. Yeah. Someone probably said jumping required ahead. Clearly not. Okay. Come on, come on. Keep on going. Back down to the golden rune. This is. Huh. That's a bit suspicious. It seems like the kind of place where I'd get ambushed. Seek defeating one by one. Is there anything here or. I think I already went. Yeah, I probably already went through this, presumably. Pump sword, by the way, try to give up. <laughs> okay. Mmm. -hmm. Alright. I'm moving. Is. And, okay, and just. 
a bunch of silver tears. A lot of these guys. Okay. Huh. Toss this, see if we can get a chain reaction going. And... I suppose not. Well, at least not like that, but... This should take out a few more. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Aim for the... Lightning ones. And... Hmm. See if they'll explode and take others out in decent numbers. Decent. Hmm. I just... Huh. Lots of lances. And, oh, that's a big ball up there. Okay. Oh, and yep, there we go. Okay. Cool. Alright. And maybe have it hit others, maybe. Maybe. And... Oh, and it hit the big ball. It's a funny encounter. Okay. Come on. Mmm, we need more cerulean. Let's see how... Mmm. Can I hit and I am not close enough. Amazing. How will I be able to... How much damage will... Mmm, it's okay. It's passable. But it's not amazing by any means. Can I... Here we go, and... Lightning explosion. Take a few out. Thank you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Interesting, for sure. Mm -hmm. Down here. Take that out. Come on. Uh, 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 um. So charging would be... Cost effective here, but we'll be okay. Interesting. Okay. Come on. Start shocking. Thanks. So it hadn't even noticed me. Interesting. Alright, so what's at the end here? Marble tier, and then this is. It's gonna be another great grave glove wart. Skull wart. Slumberstone, it. Hmm, okay. It. In the end, the journey is the main reward. It's getting to see all these pretty places and pick up some loot. Because it's. At this point, there aren't that many changes I'm going to be making to the weapons I use. So it really is all about the journey at this point. I could try going around. Don't that would give me anything. I. Hmm. Tempted. Okay. Hmm. Let's just move over. Slowly but surely. Let's see what's over here. And then I. Nothing, presumably, and. Fortnite. Okay. Hmm. You know, it. Deserved. They can, they can get some reward for their. Time and suffering, and... Mmm, but... Actually getting over here without... Dying is going to be... Some trouble. Okay. Come on. Come on. And that... That can't lead to anything useful. I don't see anything over there, but I... I hear a scarab. But... Where is it? Hmm... Nothing. Oh, there you are. So, gonna be some kind of, kind of special spell or what? One, two, three, and that's okay, somber stone. That that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Not amazing. Not good. Not bad. It's perfectly passable. So yeah, we'll be down to that seed over there. So I suppose at this point. Seeds are gonna maybe be a bit harder to come by, at least in some point. There are a bunch in Laneville, but... And also ulcerated tree spirits to kill there, too, but... Eh, try ranged battle, that was always the idea. Okay. Let's see. And, hmm. The door's gonna shut on me, or what? I hope not. I... Wait, oh? Huh? Oh, they actually transformed! This is very, very bad news. Okay. Well, I... 
Best way to take them out would probably be... Bloodhound! Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks. One, two, and... Oh, my goodness. That's one down. Yeah, if I had managed to hit... It would have been really, really good, but... They fall like Fallen Hawks, which is the interesting thing. Okay, can I cannot... Mmm, alright. Charge up a fully charged heavy, and nice, there we go. And it bled. Hmm. Managed to get just close enough and hit them before they transformed. That would have been really good, but... Unfortunately, not always possible. So maybe they had a different and a higher detection range than the others. Certainly possible. It's just good that I didn't have to fight them all. At the same time, that sword swords would have been painful. Okay. Thank you. That's a good amount. Stone over there. And what's around here? This. It's interesting that this is very church-like. Hmm. Anything else? Or what else? Hmm. And through here, well, we got a chest. It's probably just getting another, another glove or something legendary. And this? Oh, the Moon of Noxtella. And that increases memory slots by two. Treasure of Noxtella, Last Black Moon, the Guide of Countless Stars. Hmm. Lost a Black Moon. The Black Moon. Hmm. Reminds me of the. Genshin Moon Sisters thing. Maybe I should. Maybe I should be stopped. Maybe I need to be stopped. But as I was saying. Oh, and yep, we got a big chair over there. Should we get us down and around? Yeah. Okay. Probably drop down that. It's two more memory slots, which isn't horrible. We have. Tenant base anyway, so it's just it's, it'd be overkill. And there aren't really a lot of spells that I particularly need that I feel like I'm missing. Maybe once I got well, to be fair, once we get to Altus, we'll be able to go over to Gelmir and get the final memory stone, and then I could equip Discus of Light or some other holy spell. Maybe. So it's around here then. Hmm. Should be. The golden seed. And I guess that was about it. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Bar door. And a cage on it. Hmm. Okay. Well. If you had a couple of level ups and Go back, level up the Redon weapons too. That would probably be good use of my runes. We'll see. Anything else under here or not? Not that golden seed, but there are other items as well, maybe. And then, always a secret, always behind. Oh, behind there's a Butterflies, or what? Is that all? Okay. It is interesting how the pickup is there. Well, that... Hmm. Drop down there, but nothing here, really. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And there we have, yep, we've got one golden seed, so we need 14 more in total, presumably. How many we get from Mogwin? So down here we got that, but yeah, before... Actually, I may as well go here. Uh, uh, I don't know. Go back to round table. Right over here. Table lost grace. Level up at least one time. Thank you. Next, I suppose we could probably put in faith, honestly. 
that's a decent idea. Go over here, we can level up. Redon bow, redon swords. That would be nice. Let's check in our bow, we... Somber. Here we are. Good stuff. May as well do Golem too, honestly. Actually, what is Star Scourge at? It... Yeah. No real reason not to. There aren't that many things I'm really in the business of upgrading right now. Alright. Hmm. Compare those ARs real quick. Then with... Hmm. That would be... 398, almost 400. And this is... Hmm. 143. It... Hmm. Not even sure which one would be a better dragon killer. Well, alright. It... Something I can figure out later. I do some more specific tests. For that, I think... Let's use... Big runes I got. Let's get... Some levels, and that's... 75, 8... Maybe 5, 50 or so, so... eight of those. Yeah. Cool. Just let's level up. Take that and so let's put that in strength. Cool. Stuff. I just... The amount of damage I just casually deal with that. It's crazy. I put on... That's a little bit better. As you'd expect from a weapon like that. Let's see, but let me see. Let me see. 18 and I You know, I could make I mm, I should probably wait until I get Inferno Crusier, maybe. It's mostly a, In the end I do want to be using Giant Crusher. Well, I'm not sure it would have the best AR. The big thing is that quality works a lot. Curve great quality because it's already got pretty equal scaling on strength and dex. Hmm. Well, go to the funny raw place now. Noxtella Waterfall, Noxtella Waterfall Basin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put on Starlight again, and I should be able to get through Lake of Rot without too much trouble. A material, or was it a message and prawn? Not really. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I do need to buy some prawn from Boggart before I forget. Before I move things on to Altus in order to progress his questline. That is right. Hmm. Anything else over here? Or... It really is just an antechamber for Lake of Rot, then. Presumably. It. There was that rune bear in that waterfall cave. And now I feel compelled to always check. The scoreboard 9. Oh, nice. Hmm. Now this... Well, in the end, I... I am at level 111. I'm not underleveled for this place at all. Not in the slightest. Undead ahead, therefore try life. In that case, is there... Is that a worry of death? Joy ahead, praise the suffering. Oh, it's because it's Basilisk. Okay, cool. Hello, then. One, two, three. All right, I... Mm. Okay. Sniffing stone four, and can I... 
Alright, and zoom back in and hit pretty well. Nice. What a great skill. Okay. So, smithing stone, five. Then what else? We... Mimicry ahead, be wary of wolf. Ah, uh, but... Blight is not here yet. Baleful Shadow is not here yet because, well... We're not actually doing Ronnie's questline right now. Didn't expect a weak foe. We're just here on and of our own accord. Mm-hmm. It's butterfly. What else? This is. Mm -hmm. Gonna make our way through it to the Lake of Rot. Find our map somewhere. This is where we'll have another encounter with a certain enemy, I think. Skinny sword required ahead. Well, sadly, not possible for us. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep on moving. And is this not materials? Is a message? So, praise the butterfly. Eh. Yeah, if you can see some kaolid like rot around here. Hmm. So presumably this would be where that baleful shadow is. Have the right. Well done. Fran, lonely, lonely. Time for scarlet rot. Yep. This goes. Oh, it goes down. Okay. Hmm. Still into this place a bit before, but couldn't drop down to it. Here we are, the Lake of Rot. One of the most interesting areas in the game. Lake of Rot Shoreside. I am pretty sure that Quality Curve Grey Club is going to be a very, very useful option here. Kiss Urba. Hmm. I... Big thing is... I'll probably be wielding Inferno Crozier for a while, because... I'll need 30 and 30 strength from runes and other sources, maybe talismans, to get 30 strength. If I two-hand, that's 45. And I can wield Prelate's Inferno Grigier, which is an ugly-looking weapon, but I can use it to... It's a colossal weapon, which means it'll deal a bit more stance damage with the Lion's Claw than this club, and probably have higher AR2, presumably. But, oh, okay. Hmm. If only I could use my horse here, that would be really nice. But I... Oh, and, well, here's our map. I'm glad that they made it that easy. And, yep, there we go. We've seen the entirety of Ansel River End. Oh, so this is going to be where we fight Astol. It's not that big, honestly. Huh. Let's get this patch together. It's hollowed out in the rock. And this is just right under the Moonlight Altar, so you can see this. Uh, oh, so that elevator is what would take us there, and the village of the Elven Orcs is right underneath, but... I guess the question is whether we could actually get into the elevator or the coffin that teleports us to Estelle without progressing Ronnie's quest line. If we have to progress the quest line, then that's just what I'll do then. It's not a huge problem. And yet this is the overlook from before. The gate led down here, so. What kind of. Let me see. Rotten Environs, great, great lake, of, lake of standing water downstream of the Ansel River. Divine essence of an outer god is sealed away in this land. And, ooh, alright. It stands to reason that. Robustness, vitality, effects of death. Immunity, robustness, and focus. Immunity, immunizing horn charm. Let me just check then. This would be a good option. Immunity. And that. What is my immunity right now? Immunity is 120. 
173, 126. What does that mean? 73, 126. Okay, so the dedicated one is going to be a better option, but main thing is I'm going to need this on pretty much permanently. But is there a spell I could use? Incantation. Let me see. Let's check my incantations. Incantations. Poison buildup. Holy damage negation. Increases. Death boy. Hmm. Attack and defense. Hmm. I okay. Does not seem as if there's any way for me to increase my status resistances at the moment. Oh well. Could be worse. And yeah. Aeonian butterfly. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Well, you know. Could be worse. Big thing is, we got some of what we need. So I. Mm -hmm. Thanks, and can I. Well, this. Sober Smithing Stone 8. Oh, nice. I. Hmm. Maybe I want to put that on Star Scourge Greatsword so that I can just crush Astol? That's an idea. But as you can see, we got. Six on top, three on bottom. Well, four on the bottom with ten. If we had Moon of Noxtella, it'd be two more. So it'd be twelve in total. Six was on top, six on bottom. So it's very specific about what you can do and how. Okay. Well, they, they have vision. They have vision. Let's see. Your way around here. It's the Grand Cloister. It's an option. Just maybe I should do that faster. It's just so much damage from the Scarlet Rod when it builds. Okay, just like that. Thanks. Cool. And this is just basically another sort of nameless Eternal City here. Huh. What well, might be over this way then? I. Oh, and we. More Basilis. Amazing. Just what I like to see. Not. Okay. Come on, we gotta switch out to our other weapon. Come on, come on. Dealing with Rot and Death Blind. Things could not be better. Okay. Somberstone 7 and... Hmm. Okay. Come on, just die. It it might be the lighting, but it looks more threatening here. It they look different. I don't like that. Can I, thanks, alright, and... Okay. Got multiple, that's good. Come on, come on. Let's drink that, actually. Because I think we'll restore a few once we take them all out. Yep, we did. Nice. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Let's put all those around here. I hmm. can't do this top part, but it's the Grand Cloister over here, I believe. Also, there's a an ancestral follower around this area, I believe. That, and we can't really see up the ledge that we've used to overlook this area before. That's kind of sad. Okay. Keep on looking. But that guy's over there, and he will drop... I forget whether he drops a weapon or something else. But he does drop something unique. What is interesting is that in the base version of this game... Ah. The... Big temple that you can hardly see. The Grand Cloister was occupied by, of all things, rotten ancestral followers, which do not exist in the base game anymore. They were entirely patched out. Which I suppose they did because people hated them. Or they thought they were just things people would hate. Gold Rune 9, and... Hello, get over here. Can I? Thanks, and... Oh, okay. Hmm. Alright. Cool. Just the fact that I didn't even know there were Basilis in the Lake of Rot, it it feels like a bad joke. You know, the fact that they would just say, Congratulations, wouldn't you like to engage with the two worst, two most hated status ailments in the game at the same time? It, 
They, they really do. They really do love their players, huh? Okay. Hmm, let's take this. Let's just kill that guy. I actually... Hmm. We got... Let's buff up, just to be sure. No real reason not to. Just in case. Aging a melee is going to be... Best move by far, so... Take that there, and probably put that there. Okay, cool. Or if I want to be really funny, I could try using... <sighs> could try using some sort of sniping spell, but I don't feel like that. Okay, cool. And, alright, we just got a... One... Oh, well, there we go, cool. And what you're gonna drop, you... Okay, cool. Mmm, that's damage. This is... The Immunizing Horn Charm plus one. Okay, that... That's really nice to have here. Specifically. That's good. That was worth going out of my way to get, I think, actually. Let's see if there are any others, but first of all, let's go over here, not... Hobby usage, and... Right now, it's... 373, 126. 73, 126. Over there. Greatly raises. See, so you got another. 423. Nice. That's good. Let's wait for this to go back down and continue working my way around here. My way around this edge. It. This area could be worse. It could be worse. It. It's supposed to be hostile. It's not a matter of being designed incorrectly. It's a matter of and it is a totally optional area, too. I didn't need to be here. I just... If you want to do the Ronnie quest line, you gotta go through here. Which makes me glad that I have magic, even though... This spell only costs... You only need 12 faith to use it. If you don't have access to it, it says more about you than anything else. Really. That's not that much... More. I'm not trying to convince anyone, I'm just... Talking about why things were done this way. I'm, I'm, I'm a developer apologist. That's what's going on. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Alien butterflies in here. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, but it clears all of your status build up. Which means that the only thing you really need to do is... It's interesting that this is here when it's nothing we can see, which presumably means that it is it might be a somewhat outdated map. It's interesting how it's not just red, it's also got a bit of bluish purple and a bit of a yellowish green. It Well, because the entire deal is that Rot is from outer space, so. I wonder if I can go up here and so if there's anything to find. Probably not. Go through here in the Grand Cloister, if I recall correctly, and do this last part onto Estelle, and I think, I think there are only two sides of grace, one of the Grand Cloister and one over by Estelle, but we'll figure that out. The big question really is, and honestly, you know, I should try the... Star Scourge Greatsword moveset before I actually take on Astol, but the big thing is I wonder if using its weapon art is going to be a good idea, or if I should just go for normal hits and jumping attacks or something, given that it I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to want to fight the thing. Alright, okay. Cool. Over here, we got more basilisks. Amazing. That. Come on, come on. What is this? Oh, another somber stone eight. Nice. It. Yeah, it's definitely going to be upgrade time for some of those. Given that I'll be able to do it without too much trouble. Hello then. I right. slam and can I? Mm, okay. All right. Mm. Interesting, I... Okay, cool, and can I... Slam it... Mmm, okay. Stay out of the way of the rot. Well, 
Mm. These basilisks out to get a few more uses of. Can I, mm, okay, I need to. Ooh, that was dangerous. I very, very nearly actually just got the instant death proc. That woulda, that woulda sucked. That woulda sucked, sucked. I thought about maybe putting on a different... Can I go on the front there? Different charm when fighting them, specifically the anti-death blight charm, but... Then I fought against it. Oh, well, I... Huh? Oh, is that... Oh, because I'm using grant me strength instead of... I may be an idiot. I, I am stupid. Okay. What's all in here? Okay. Die, die, die. One, two, I... Mm, so what's in here? Is this just a trap? There is a good chance it is literally just a trap. Okay. Come on, I... Well, if I weave them around here, maybe I can... Fly them on more advantageous ground for me. It's an idea. Okay, I... Yeah, we can do that. And is this a rotten... A rotten one? That's interesting. Huh. I... Maybe they just look different. Maybe. Probably. Second. Oh my goodness. Not this person. Not even a person a bot. Okay. Just second. Okay. back around and <laughs> do that. I wonder what's going to be in here, if anything. An item or something. <laughs> Come on, there are a few more basilisks. Two, three, and just <laughs> right over there. I <laughs> Cleanse me, cleanse me flame. It honestly seems as if this is just kind of a trap for idiots like me. Okay. Cool. Alright. Come on, come on. Just take that before I die. Take that before I die. Okay, cool. But I... Was there really nothing in here? It seems as if there was nothing in here. Ouch. Well, it... I got... A few more flasks. It's not nothing. Okay. Hmm. Work our way around over to the cloister then. Hmm. Alright. Come on, come on. Don't want to take too much damage, but... <laughs> Go way over here, faded early flower. Still a rot. It's all faded. Let's just take that, sure. Honestly, Blessing's Boon might be a good choice, too, but... Oh, interesting. We can jump onto this, and maybe there might be something above? Oh, yep, there was. Then it drops down into there, and that's why that works the way it does. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It's not a... Is that a... No, that can't be, right? Let me... No, that is a Dragonkin soldier. How, how am I... How am I gonna fight that thing? Well, the answer is... Bows. Okay. You have to shoot it, probably. Mushroom crown. Oh, nice. Over the body, overrun mushrooms, towering headpiece. Attack power, suffer some poison or rot. Serve the scarlet rot. Fungal body served as their crowns. Interesting. Hmm. It... Somehow... Somehow I don't see that being much of an option. Power of hatred, maybe. Right, there was a Dragonkin soldiers chilling in the rot somehow. So that's acceptable now. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I just constant rot is really getting to me. I I'm not so sure about that one. Thanks to maybe for Italians. Take that, and then we go over there, and can I... Thanks, thanks. Oh, but Radon's reign might be better. We'll see. I don't know. 
Well, they don't exactly have a gender. They're... You know... Why, why are you assuming... Ascribing masculinity to a completely non-human creature with no gendered signifiers whatsoever? Okay. Okay. Not that I really mind, but... It doesn't really change how I live my life. Okay. Oh, so they're... Oh, and a scarab is here. Oh, I know! I know, I know what you're quoting. I know what you're quoting. <laughs> don't think for an instant that I don't know what you're quoting. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on. Thank you. Summerstone 6, okay. This is... It's interesting. Okay. Okay. I mean, the entire reason why I joked about you ascribing masculinity to the Dragonkin soldiers is because I know what you're quoting. And this... Oh, this is... It's an elevator? Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Well, I... I don't know either. Oh, but this... Huh? Wait, so what is this then? I'm confused. Huh. This all rose up, and including this even? Let me just see what... This leads to, I, it would be really nice to have a better way to fight that Dragon King soldier, for one. But I, oh, can I, will I be able to raise a bridge or something? That would be nice. Main question is, well, I tried and then I missed it, but it didn't matter because I didn't take fall damage anyway. I know you're sad, because if I had fallen, I might have died. And then you would have laughed. Mm, beautiful or beautiful. Time for battle. So that doesn't go back down. Hmm. So the question is... How else? Oh, that is... Pretty clearly a dr the Dragon Soldier there. Wow, with, with friends like these. With friends like these. Oh, but actually, could I... Hmm. I... Huh. Curious. There were some other... points around there. Would they also raise stuff up? I'd be able to make a... Way through? I... Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's a death sentence. Maybe it's a death sentence for this one. Okay. Let's run over there and see what we got. We can raise something else up and try to build a bridge. A death sentence. For your malfeasance. Punishment. And... Mm, okay. So some of these are switches, it seems. Hmm. Okay. Keep on going. That over there. There's gotta be a better way to fight that thing. I hope. So what then over here? Is this... Uh-huh. Okay, cool. There we go. The Scarlet Raw and... So it raises up another portion of... So that's just a drop down, is it? Maybe. Well, you should. That was the intention. Okay. Suppose... I need to raise up some other things. We'll see. This? It's interesting. It's interesting here. Yeah. I liked it. But I guess I'll need to look around for more of those switches to see how I can... 
make the bridge work. Presumably that's how I need to get into the Grand Cloister too. But I think, at least for now, I will use these to level... Honestly, yeah, a Star Scourge and Bloodhound's thing. Well, That'll work. Thank you. Strengthen, somber, and good deal more damage. And a good deal more damage. Okay. Yeah. It... Having a plus eight weapon before even hitting up Altus is... It really is remarkable, the level of flexibility this game has, if you care to engage with that. It... I would not call it a true open world, but I mean that in the best way possible. It... For now, I should probably actually have... should allocate my flasks. Can't do that, can't do that. Need more blue flasks, probably. Yeah. Because the game isn't... There, there's a meaningful and significant order to things. You can't just go everywhere immediately. But that's not a bad thing. The reason why is because the game has a sequence to some things that matters, but... Or at the very least, it... Most of the sequence... To the extent that you can sequence break, it's governed... By your personal skill. And I like that. Rock Grease. Mm -hmm. Another... Oh, we got Basilis. Hello. Hi. One, two, three. We use this, we should be able to... Alright, cool. Thanks. Just move in. Cut that down. Should be a few more sources of... Oh, well, okay. Come on. I... Alright. I... Oh, please. Come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I didn't need to be all silly about mucking about in the rod. I just needed to raise some of these points, but that does not look accessible. Frankly, good. Let's go over here. We got a few more. Jumping praise the legs. All right. Yeah, there were a few more spots around here, so I'll use those. I think there was another pressure plate over on that side, pretty far away. This is... Hello? That... That wasn't all that much. But I think that'll help fighting... Help in fighting the Dragonkin soldier, so... I... It's all about luring it to a spot where I can fight it without having to deal with all that crap. And, oh, well, we got more Basilis. A Warming Stone and Scarlet Rot. Okay. Take that, and hello. Hi. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And move in. Slash. It's funny to think that this is, yeah, plus eight. Hmm. Oh, hi. A lot of you. Okay. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Can I... Slash. Slash. And... Oh, that hit. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. All right. I, one, two, three. And... Okay. All right. And slash. Slash again. And, oh, my... Okay. Oh, my goodness. That was... I hate Basilisk so much. They're just despicable. Okay. Hmm. Dragon Soldier. Should be at least one more. One of those pillars with the opportunity to raise up a walkway. I saw another in another spot, but I ignored it because I didn't know that it did this. So. Keep on moving, go around this perimeter, see what happens, but it's a funky place. Really funky place. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Please, please, please. And 
Can use that. That's good. Thank you. What all is over here? That black bolts. So presumably they use this as a place to harvest the rot, which would be used to make the black bolts. then, possibly. What's over here? Gonna be a smithing stone. A smithing stone would be nice. Another. No life I had. Somberstone 7. wonder if they were... Maybe because we came over here, we had no life, or because it was drained of color. It's a polar smithing stone. Like that fake Mika ripoff. Okay. Hmm. It's over there. So we get inside the cloister. I'm not sure whether I have to get every single one. But... <sighs> fighting the Dragon Soldier with... This weapon would probably be the best option. The question is just... How would I be able to do that adequately? Would there be a spot where I could fight it without it... Without having to be in the rot, or... Mm -hmm. Also, that ancestral flower did respawn, presumably. It's not gonna drop. The immunizing horn charm a second time, but... It's good that we have a decent amount of focus points. As Aeonian butterflies don't respawn, but the only thing I'd be able to do with it is make... Rot projectiles, which I've already got spells for that, so I don't really care. Mm -hmm. But it, it is interesting to think that this is supposed to be water. Mm -hmm. Millennia bath water. It's like an item that must have risen up with it, maybe. So would I be able to get into the Grand Cloister from the ground level over here, or...? To do it some other way, but... Oh, that's right, the Serpent Bone Blade. Yeah. It... Come on. Well, it just reminds me of how people joked when... They had... If you remember the Electro Water in Inazuma. Most of which you could get rid of by doing quests. People joked it was the Raiden Bath Water. If you remember... And it's the same kind of thing, but it damages you. Though, to be fair, it's not as if Genshin has... A... Doesn't really have a true status ailment system, so... So over there, is that going to be the way to Estel, or... Because you might have to go through the Grand Cloister. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. I, I didn't know that. Okay, so what's in here? What's in here? Come on, come on. All right. This is... What's in this chest? Dung ahead. Dark ahead. This is... Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 22. Raw pot, raw grease, frostering raw grease. Face of utter scarcity. You need Aeonian butterflies to... Otherwise, I'd have to harm the butterflies from gladiators. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So the serpent bone blade is going to be at the end of... It's going to be the reward for taking down that really annoyingly positioned dragon soldier. I really do think that it might have to be... Matter of sniping with a great bow, though. We'll see what happens. The question is, what's up top there? Other stuff over here, something over this way, and build up's mostly gone right now. Let's see what this is. This is preserving boluses. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we can use this to go down, but try weft, yeah, this is not going to be a great option. So I guess this killed people somehow. Interesting. I hmm. Well, sometimes they put in DLC spoilers. There are some people who put in part of the final boss, DLC final boss's arena. Okay. So what is that all going to lead to? Climbable spot. I suppose what I could do is just find 
If I want to work my way back around here, I should find a side of grace first and maybe teleport back. I know that there are a bunch of kindred of rot in here, but yeah, these were originally all going to be rot powered ancestral followers, but again, they patched those out. This is the Grand Cloister, where presumably they worshipped the outer god of rot. Grand Cloister, okay. Which is interesting, because among other things, it suggests that the Ancestral Followers version of sort of death and rebirth maybe is connected to the outer god of rot and its rot powers, possibly. Let's see what's over here first. Because Rot is... It's basically space cancer. Which means that... In its own way, it is a form of life. Just a... Perverse, twisted, overgrown one. Uncontrollable. Harmful to other things, but... It would work... It's not the same as... Those who live in death, but it's also a sort of... Disease is life. Well, it... Deoxys is not poison. It's very obvious that if Scarlet Rot was associated with a poison type, I mean a Pokemon type, it would be poison. The poison part is probably at least as important as the space part. Okay. How am I gonna kill... Oh, and there's a... Oh, hi. Hello. I did not expect to see one of you here. Okay. Come on. Come on. So what then is... Can I... Slam! And... This is a joke. One. Two. And... Oh, I think this Alabaster Ward gives... It's sword, actually. Yeah, we got the Alabaster Ward sword. Blue White Meteoric Ore conceals gravity manipulating magic. Weapon unique to the Alabaster Lords, race of agents, ancients with skin of stone, who are said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. Master Lords pull, ground to greater gravity while doing damage. Attack pulls enemies in, greater area of effect than Gravitas. So it's just better Gravitas. Okay. That was interesting. Yeah, it makes sense that that gravity enemy would be around here, considering that the Astol is the final boss of this area. Hmm. So what item is this? But the only... Named... Sombersmithing Stone 9. Oh, oh. Well, that's nice. I... I do feel very tempted to use that on... Star Scourge Greatswords. Just because... The Astle is a pretty strong boss. There are ways to choose it. The big one would be Meteorite or Meteorite of Astle. Though, to be fair, Meteorite of Astle is a stronger... We got Meteorite from the Onyx Lord over in the northern yard of Karia Manor, but... It... I don't have the tier that will allow me to infinitely cast Meteorite, is the thing. And my intelligence... Isn't really specced out specific... Eh, I... Could be interesting to try meteorite. Big thing is we would need how much to cast it again? It takes sorceries. Meteorite takes 30. So actually, that's we're pretty close. Just in general. But the main thing is that you want a tier that for your flask that allows you to have infinite mana for a short amount of time, and then you just hold it down and keep the Keep the guy stunned and just blast him. I might do that on the other Astral, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Much to think about. That's over there, so we should just run through. Oh. Uh, it, it... It's discriminatory against Italians. What more can I say? Take that. Keep this going. Flame cleanse me. Thank you. Find another thing to raise. It always is. You should sue. File suit against Twitch. That should raise it up. 
Presumably it would raise up a arena to fight the Dragonkin soldier on. Maybe. We'll see. I hope. Oh, well. I ran out of a bad time. Anyway. Thanks. Luckily, Blessing's Boot should help a little, but still. Head over there, presumably. Let's see what that does. Will this raise up an arena? To find that thing in. So I'll probably just take it down right then and there. Right here. This is, yeah. If there was a pressure plate switch, I'll be in good hands. Let's see what happens here. Come on, and. Yep! There we are, and. Well done, but time for boss. Imagine having to fight that thing. Oh, this is actually more interesting. You have to fight it like this. You don't get true freedom. Okay. Okay. So then... Yeah, a good amount of flasks. Let's reapply a buff. Reapply some more buffs. Make this work. Got me strength. Got me strength and... So I want to do this. I... Mm, okay. Well, alright. Let's just... Mm, but flame cleanse me is a good idea too. I... Uh, okay, alright. Mm, can I... Slash and... Oh, we do really good damage to it. That's nice. I, okay, cool. Mm, get over here. And dodge and can I... Slash and can I... Oh, can I... Mm, slam and... Okay, oh, right in. Okay, heal, heal. Mm, I dodge. Oh well, all right. Thanks. Dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. I this one is tough. And can I slash slash it? Okay, again. And cool. And dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. Mm, all right. Mm, thanks. I Griffin Gojo. I I didn't see that. And there we are. What's that was nice. Okay. Great enemy fell. That's cool. Dragon skill blade. Let me just check. That was tough but fun. Griffin Gojo? Let's see. Oh, that... That's the guy who comes on to watch Dokapon. Yeah. That's who that was. Let's see. Oh, that lagged. Sharpling a gravelstone snail, thought to be the source of ancient dragon immortality, into an unclouded blade. Alas, the dragon soldiers never attain immortality. Here's just decrepit pale adaptations of their skyborn kin, ice lightning sword. Bolt of ice lightning of the blade, bringing down upon a foe, will persist for a while. Yeah. It. He's Australian, by the way. Oh my, that was some lag. Gold Rune 7, and... Uh, let's see what else there might be. Gold Rune 10. Using... I should have put my Fizz Resist one back on. I should have used the Flask. The fact that I didn't use the Flask actually was baffling to me. It... It is what it is. I'm a self-hating American anyway. It might not work out too well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we can just go to the Grand Cloister now and go out for the rest, but I should. Yeah, we take Star Scourge. I'll level up Star Scourge. A Star Scourge's weapon art would be really good on the Falling Star Beast because they're gravity enemies. Weak to its damage and also specifically weak to magic, so something like Terra Magica plus Star Caller Cry would work. The reason all the Americans you know are self hating is because most Americans who aren't self hating are going to be talking and hanging around with other other Americans. Americans who are actively seeking the company of Italians are not specifically are not going to be a representative sample, I would say. 
for the cloister. Go back to the hold and just... it. It's good to be king. How much do I have for other stones? Got seven straight to nine. Okay. Suppose I will destroy things with Star Collar, Star Scourge. Then, intelligence, there we go. Through the cloister, and we're gonna take Star Scourge to plus nine. Exciting stuff. Oh, but let's put this back on. Yeah. <laughs> Still wearing our heaviest stuff. Cool. Strength in, and goes to. There we are. Fun stuff. Okay. Over to the cloister. Work our way up to Moonlight Altar. Like a rot. It's gonna be a bunch of kindred of rot. In that case, I should almost certainly be using. It's a big balking stick. Oh, but we got Starlight over here. It's time to... Well, it's dark over here, so it's time to use Starlight, and this is nothing. Okay. So the question is, would I ever be... Eventually, I can get down there. I wonder if there will be anything really worth, pi worth picking up down there. We'll see what happens. Come on, no horse ahead. Try down, and... Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's keep looking. This is... Could I get here? I could, yeah. Not like there's anything to get, but... Praise the rot, sure. Grand Cloister. But it already said Grand Cloister over here. Come on. And it's just this bit of rot and probably the coffin to Astol, but... Huh. What a jumping needed ahead. Okay. So that then. I am ahead, so to speak, jumping ahead. Set it be down there, but also whatever this is. Item ahead, and this is Golden Rune 10. Okay. Altus! I cannot imagine Altus will feel like much. Golden Centipede, why is it always bug? That is... Is there anything down there? Probably not. Uh, just in case, let's check. Grace is right by here. <laughs> that drop down is going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me just see, and... Nothing down there. So maybe it'd be possible if I finagled myself into a weird position, but there's no point to doing it. Non-zero chance that they cheated their way over there anyway. Okay. See, can I... Can't do that. No point to doing that either. Here we are on the ground floor. We got lots of kindred of rot. Hello then. Hi. Just gonna slam it. All right, and... Cool. Die. Mm -hmm. Slam and... Oh, oh we... Actually avoided those just by moving. That's fun. Okay. Lots of those guys over here. I feel like sneaking up on one might allow me to... Well, I might be able to kill one outright if I snuck up correctly. Yeah, whatever. Just backstab. One. Two. And, well, that was... Okay. Mm, come on. Alright, we... Slam and... Kill. Slam, and... And somehow that thrust did not get us. Nice. Okay. I... Mm -mm. Keep on moving. Kill, kill. Alright, and... Hit again. Hit again, and we got you. Thanks, and... Dodge, okay. Slam. Take you down. Cerulean up. Thank you. Cool. Fan daggers. I'm a fan of daggers. Smithing stone five and slam. Slam. Okay. 
This will... So this is probably not going to lead to Astol. It's presumably it would be over this way. Through the ground floor, but... Hmm. Wondering. Well done, thank you. Wasn't all that much. Okay. This is... Oh, something in the chest. Lyra had it. The question is, is something going to ambush me on the way in here? I hope not. Bug armament. Precious item. Is it going to be a pestle or... Scorpion Stinger. Ah. Great Scorpion Snail, glistening with scarlet rot, ceremonial tool used by heretics, crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. So presumably it was a scorpion god, which makes it interesting that there are all the scorpion charms, repeating thrusts, which will power, fury of thrusts. And that, yeah, 50 scarlet rot buildup. Interesting. There's the Ants for Rapier, which is actually very, very strong. Especially since you can have it inflict lots of status ailments at once, but that won't be until we get to. Oh, and oh, so this is the coffin that leads to. So that doesn't really take us much of anywhere. Okay. You can't actually go down to that part of the lake. You just take the coffin down and it takes you to Astol. Huh? Wait. Why is. Oh, so all of these... You don't need to get close to the coffin to rest in the coffin. Probably to make sure that the rot buildup was not too much of an issue for people down here. It's actually very considerate of them. Hmm. Just gotta run through after this. Probably use... Mm, we got some flasks, but... I would always prefer to have maximum strength for a situation like this. There's no reason to not be a max power when doing a fight. Okay. So, thank you. Another hit. And I think there are. I did see a few more basilisks around this area, so. Have to be cognizant. Hmm. Faded early flower. How many more foul feet do I have? I don't think I'll need to do any additional farming today, but still. Boss ahead? Wait, what? Really? Okay. Somehow I find that questionable. Strong foe. What is... is that a joke? I... I'm wandering. Strong foe ahead. Is someone gonna invade me around here? It's the only thing I can really think of and- oh it- oh? Uh oh and- oh it's a random ulcerated tree spirit? Well oh, that's crazy. Putrid. Okay, cool. Hmm, okay then. In that case, yeah, we have this on, which is good for us, but I... Hmm, okay, cool. Let's take this, and... Come on, I... Dodge it! Hmm, this is a really, really tough place to be. Fighting at one of these things. Slam, and... and I slam again, and slam, and... Another, and slam. There we are, cool. Thanks, and where is my... This is my position to... Okay, well, alright. Hmm, okay. And I... Okay, I need to... Oh, alright. Thanks. Okay, well, you aren't too much trouble, I think. And... Oh, well, I... Oh, come on! Come on, you! Okay, stupid. What in the goddamn... I... And then, of course, I get up just to die with a lot. It's ridiculous. Okay. Well, hmm. That was something. The craziest thing to me is just the fact that oh, I didn't have one of those. The elemental solution and duplicate lightning. Hmm. I. Hmm. I hope there was some in moonlight altar. Ashes of war. Take flame art on that. Stick with what we got, but. Fire, flame art, this... This will be better, presumably. Okay. I... Hmm. Change my flask around. Dexterity, but we'll go for flame shrouding. Okay, this... Hopefully get the job done. Okay. I... It was interesting for a putrid... 
tree spirit to be there of all places. Hmm. But you know, it... I guess it has the right. Or the wrong. Okay. Slam and over there and... Oh, well, we... Oh, okay. That's a one-shot. Hmm. Okay. Let's go around the other spots over here just to see. Big thing is... I need to buff before it shows up, now that I know that's going to be there. Okay. Various butterflies. A nascent butterfly, too. Offer, I did it. And the whole... What? Okay. That, whatever. Okay. But, either way, I need to be in a position to get my buffs going whenever it shows up, so... Just... Getting eaten was not helpful. It did not contribute. And I slam it. Oh, what? You are really, really... That was actually obnoxious. Incredibly obnoxious. Okay, cool. And just... Thanks. And... What? Huh? No, seriously. What the hell? Is it because I rolled to the side instead of straight ahead? That's so stupid. God damn. I... This is really frustrating. Uh, I... I don't want to have to just... I should probably just shoot them with Frenzy Burst. It's probably what's going to have to be. But, I didn't expect those guys to come around that way. That's the big thing. I didn't really pay attention to their patrol route. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Thanks, and another, another. Okay, cool. It's just, the fact that it was in the rot was ridiculous. Oh, it probably dropped a wave, didn't it? I think. Oh, oh, and it didn't even restore the entirety of my flask. Interesting. Okay, cool. Slam and dodge, and can I, again? Slam. The fact that this does so well to pass is interesting to me. Okay, cool. And out of my way. Come on. Flame cleanse me. Flame cleanse me. Okay. I need... Literally flower. Let's see what's over there. And then, yeah, it's lots and lots of buffs. Come on. What was in here? What was in here? Eventually, the boss will show. Just an Aeonian butterfly, whatever. Come on. Should. When will it actually show up, then? What makes the damn thing show up? Is this? Really? Okay. Huh. How close do I have to get? Okay, well, alright. Okay, cool. Just gonna get out of here, then. Proc all these buffs, try to survive, and... Come on, come on. Thanks, cool, and... Uh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. What?! What in the goddamn?! I hate this stupid game! There's no way to... Actually, the best way to do it would be to get up on terrain where it can't reach me. But I don't think that's possible. You can't get back up here. There's no way to get back up here. Once you get back down. You are stuck down there with it, which... God damn. I... So many rune arcs have gone to waste for these stupid, stupid things. It... And what am I going to get? One golden seed... Yeah. It... It... There, there's no way it's even worth it. Whatever. Okay. Come on. I, okay, and... Thank you. Okay. Early flower. Okay. Hmm. So they don't deal any kind of poison or rot buildup innately. That's some small relief. Okay. 
Slam and slam and kill. Okay. Thanks. Kill again. Cool. Alright. Faded early flower. It Honestly, the big thing is, we take that now. No real reason not to. Go over. Do that. It'll show up. We apply a bunch of buffs. Okay. Blessings Boon. Should be coming around now. Thanks. And, well, okay. Hmm. Alright, I dodge, dodge. Hmm. Okay. Take that, and... Hmm, we gotta find a better place to fight this thing. I... Well, this is okay. Can I... I... Oh, well... Hmm. Okay. Come on. I... Okay, alright. Thanks. Alright, and... Can I... Please. Okay, and... Just dodge the stupid holy breath. Okay. Can I... Slam it! Hmm. Okay. Thanks. And again... And... One more slam and hit it. There we are. Can I get a critical or what? I, I definitely cannot get a critical. Oh, well, actually, using that to... That works better, I think. Oh, well, okay. Mm, fun. Okay. Come on, come on. I, all right. And dodge it. Dodge. Okay, whatever. I, this is nonsense. Okay. How is up? How am I supposed to... Okay. Just dodge. Mm. Okay, that didn't hit a single thing, did it? Probably not. Okay, whatever. I... Okay, mm hmm. Just dodge. Okay. Slam. Slam. Well, I... okay. What? 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 No! No! What? Really? Really? You gotta be. This makes no sense. Okay, cool. Just dodge, dodge, heal, heal, and what am I? What am I even got? Ah, oh, you stupid, stupid imbecile! Hate this stupid, stupid game. Okay. Flame cleanse me and can I... Okay, we gotta use this to escape and I... Well, the fact that I... Really, really, really... What? Huh? Again? How does that even... How, how? What gives? Okay. Heal, heal. Then we do that again. The fact that it just got me a second time is nonsense. Okay. It's just that stupid, stupid... Okay, I... Whatever. Can I... Okay. Quit and quit, yeah. Uh, just not waste that rune arc. I. What am I even supposed to do? Really? Okay. You know, there there is the possibility that it is just too strong for me right now. But even still, it it's not even a not even an actual enemy. It. I, in theory, I want to see. I don't think it got all its health back, and if so, I do have the opportunity to do something very funny. Which is to trigger its appearance again, and then hit it when it's at low health. Let's just see how much health it's going to have when it comes back. And the answer is... how much? And it's got all of its health. Okay, well... It was an interesting idea, not a great one. Okay. So, it... They have anti-cheese tactics for that. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, whatever. In that case, I... I should apply all of my buffs. Before making it appear, it's just... It's so annoying that you have to run deep into a pool of rot just to make it show up. So when you get in there, you're probably going to have have to clear your rot somehow. And then it, it really, really just, it's the icing on the, on the cake. Oh, but actually, can you, no, you can't get back up anyway. There's no way to get back up. For a second, I thought I had a fun idea. Fortunately, I was wrong. I did not have a funny idea. I did have a funny idea, it just wasn't a good one. Not... Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we got the glaive. 
Short Hardened Shell, pests emerge from the Swamp of Aeonia, slightly increases non-physical damage negation. Keen intellect of the pests evidenced by the Spear's Uncanny Design it will never be understood by them. Slash and Pierce. Hmm. Okay. Here we are, and it's cool. Thanks. It is nice that they're just pancakes and kills. Whatever. Come on, get over here. Get over here. Thanks, and slam it. What? Really? Okay. Come on. You mongrel, you imbecile. Get over here. I okay, cool. Slam. Okay, cool. Hmm. I gotta. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. That was exactly the wrong choice. Okay, flame cleanse me. This one. Then we. Blessings Boon. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength. Have this proc. Okay. Make it get started and rush out somewhere. Hope the buff lasts a somewhat decent amount of time. It won't. Okay. Come on, come on. I Oh, right, we need to do that. Right. Okay, thanks. And dodge, heal. And there we go. We need that. Okay, probably not. Dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. Slam. And again. We do that one more time. Okay. Slam and probably just... Well, we could do this. Cool. One. Two. And can I slam again? We can... Nice! We got it! Cool. Okay. And that gave us... Golden Seed. Okay. Well, it that garbage is over now. Okay. What are we gonna get? This is... Smithing Stone 7. Smithing Stone 6. It's not bad. Okay, well... Big thing is, now we... I'm gonna try out... Star Scourge moveset, because that's what I'm going to be using against Astol. Could get a level. Level up. I have to put it in Arcane. Actually, we have a lot of... Decent amount of runes, and one more level would require... 8,000. Let's see how much we got. Let's use all those. That'll be... 40,000 more. About 30,000 more. Hmm. Now we need about... 10,000. A little over 10,000 more. Okay. Let's use four of those. Okay. Have a good amount now, so... Level. Let's take... Let's get some vigor. A little bit more of that. Okay. It's nice to have something in the way of durability. Actually, let's put... Put quality back on this. 398, and that. Quality is unambiguously better now. It's nice. Let's put on our... Star Scourge stuff. Try some of this out, but I... Hmm. Here we go. How exciting. Let me see. Hmm. It's just one-handed. And jumping uses both, and those ones are good, but this skill is... And then you slam normal attack for A. Wait, actually, let me see. That additional input, gravity infused swords. And the cool thing is... The Roar Mitnellian boosts that, I believe. But I should still focus on getting a bit more durability. Yeah, I... Let's just test how much damage it deals to these guys. See how worth using they are, but... Let's check my Flask of Physic. See what I should put on there. I... Magic is okay, but... It's probably gonna be Strength. 
probably. Well, stance is... that's good too. I might stick with those. Let's see. Star collar cry. Star collar cry. That. How much stance damage? Star collar cry stance damage. It's damage. Stance damage. 15 stance damage. Hmm. But the sword slam is... Hmm. I am going to... Oh, rips flowers from the sky. Oh, staggers and fall. Soul teardrop scarab. You want to be massive AoE. Great for weaker enemies. I'm going to go take a quick bathroom break and be right back.
Okay. Now well, it's time to see how well these things fare against a giant dragonfly from space. Let's make this happen. Yeah. The big question is, I should be able to wield these things. It still says, Icon says I can't, but that means nothing to me. How well these will work against those guys. Uh, strong attacks just use one. Not quite as effective as the jumping light attacks. Normal light attacks. Yeah. And... So it's slam, spin, and another slam. We got the skill. Hmm. It's interesting. The only bosses I've really fought today were Fia's champions and things of the boss bar. Fia's champions and that one dragon soldier. I fought an alabaster lord and that tree spirit, but none of them had anything like that. It's funny. Well, I let's do a quick damage test just to make sure. Come on. Thanks. Oh, well, that that's capable. I like that. Thanks. And I, ooh, can I... Question is, can I... Oh, well, never mind. I, all right. Thanks. And oh, I'm... Ooh, yeah, these things are heavy, heavy. I can't believe I didn't think about that one. I may be stupid. Okay. Come on. I... I'm going to have to readjust my equipment load. I might actually do better, but Bird Tree's favor might make a difference here. We'll see what happens. If I put on Bird Tree's favor, I might put my equip wood at a point where I can wield these things without having to change my armor out. In lieu of. No, I do have Bird Tree's favor on. Never mind. Let's see. Okay, we have to take the gloves off, this is the thing. Mm hmm. Okay. See how well this works. Thanks. Oh well, that hit around. That's not good. Thanks and ooh, yep, yeah, that is a bit more damage. So let me just see. Uh, thanks and come up. Slam and oh, okay. That's a good one. But I should probably save that for when I manage to stance break the boss. But if so, it would work quite well. So we can definitely get to the Moonlight Altar. Definitely get to the Moonlight Altar from here. Question is... Upgrade materials. I... Hmm, to 15, to 18. Hmm. Hmm. It's not quite enough yet. We've got some at a 17, I think, but no further. It... The Somber Stones are just so much easier to get. It's not even funny. It's just sad. Okay. Got her stuff, and... Well... Hmm. Alright. So I'll just run, and... Well, alright. Hmm. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I... Okay. Maybe... Oh, but... Regardless, I... I should have reallocated those flasks anyway, but we need to, we gotta wait for them to pass underneath. Allocate, and this will probably do well for me. We'll see. Hmm. Well, I and Great Boat would also probably work decently, but I need to buy a bunch of redone spears, among other things, and. Think about. Astol is, and I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure whether its head actually takes more damage, so. Hmm. Astol, natural born of the void. Okay, its head is weak. So you would want to probably use through and through instead of Radon's Rain, maybe. I'm not sure. 
120 stance. Interesting. Well, alright. Go behind it, go down to that coffin. Try fighting that thing and pray. Level 114. Hopefully that should be enough. It is interesting how many areas you could use to drop down. It's just, that's the coffin, but... We're not really standing in the- it'd be funny if you could get afflicted by Rod during the cutscene, because it shows you in the water. It'd be stupid, but it'd be funny. But, it's the third coffin I've had to put myself into. Fun. One that took me to Deep Root from Seafro, one that took me to Ansel from Deep Root, and the one that takes me to the area underneath Moonlight Altar from Ansel. Oh, from Lake of Rot, Lot, Rot in the Grand Cloister. It's one of those caves kind of similar. It's very similar to the caves where we fought the Got teleported to for the Ancestor Spirit fights. Hmm. Alright. Let's make this happen. Gotta chuck some flasks, buff up. Let's see the gold of the boss fog on the other side. Good stuff. Okay. Still do have some rot on us, which is funny. These glowing mushrooms. Hmm. Okay. Can't go back like this. And the big question to me is whether there's going to be a way down from the Moonlight Altar area in Lyria. There would be a drop down that would allow me to escape geographically. Well, alright. It's time to fight this thing. I know basically nothing about it. Other than its weaknesses, which does not say all that much. Okay, Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength, and we'll keep that on there. And Flask of Crimson, and... Oh, pretty. Hello, Astol. And, oh, okay, Gravity Laser. Where are we going to approach? It's going to be interesting. Hi. Hi, and... Ooh, okay. Hmm. Interesting, and ooh, alright. Hmm. Okay. Orb Stinger. And I. Hmm. I. Right, and. Okay. And gravity Grab Attack. And oh my. That's some good damage. I. Dodge. Okay. Thanks. Can I. Can I. Uh, can I swing it. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, cool. Hmm. Alright, I. Can only imagine that. Yeah, if it gets worse. Okay. Cool. Interesting thing here. I dodge it. Okay. What? Oh. Oh, Nebula. Okay. Interesting. Can I slam and? Hmm. Can I slam down it? Can I dodge it? Oh well. All right. Mm, okay. Heal. And can I? Can I slam it? Okay. Uh, okay. Mm, just. I know that you. Hmm. Okay. I see a bit of the Shichimen warriors actually. And I. Oh. Okay. I. Dodge, 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 and... Okay, that was actually not that significant. I, okay. Dodge, and can I... Oh, okay. Okay. Now, it is actually quite... Top, top, and... Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Dodge, oh, please. I actually cannot stand this thing. Can I... Thanks, and... Maybe if I just actually use Star Color Cry? Maybe, maybe, I... What is... what is the way to do this? Okay. My... Dodge... okay. Can I... Thanks, and... Slam down it. Oh, well, it was an interesting idea. Okay. What, what, what? No, 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 What? Huh? This is stupid. Okay. I... Maybe this wasn't such a good option. Maybe what I actually do is just use my bow. Hmm. Yeah, it, I think it's going to be time for Greybow. Greybow memes. 
And on the other hand, we put Radon's bow to increase the power. And what? That? Dual wielding bows. But the only one that matters is this one. The fact that it boosts the power of the Radon arrows. It. Let's make something beautiful happen. Okay. Come on, come on. Blessing's Boon. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength. Better Grammy Strength. Okay. Then I. Put this on, put this on, and can I. Run over and dodge, dodge. Okay, there we go. Cool. Yeah. Single way is going to be a great option here. Thanks and cool. Okay, that. It's not crazy, but it's good. And oh, right, we need this. Right. Okay. Well, okay. This range is. Mm, the fall off, though, is a problem. Okay, and dodge. Okay, cool. Shoot. Shoot with gravity. Power. Okay, cool. Nice. Bring this back, and cool. Oh, well, okay. What? What the hell? Okay. Well, now I need to do this without rune arcs, which really sucks. This... I hate this. I actually hate this. I... In the end, you know, I try to be so funny with it. Okay, cool. Enjoy. See you, see you again, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. I... It's just going to be hitting it hard and stance breaking. There's really nothing else. Okay. Okay. I I can't use Golden Bow right now. I could also use this, maybe. Don't imagine it would do all that much. Flynn grab me and then it's just Lion's Claw spam. It I feel like an idiot for actually trying to be interesting with it. Because I'm better off just going for stance breaks. It... It's humiliating. Because... And... Not, well, okay, cool. And... Hit and slap! And... Yeah, see? It, that's all I had to do. Whatever. Okay. Thanks. Heal and... Take that. Cool. Alright. How do I... And... Dodge. Okay, cool. Here you are over there. You're gonna... Do some shooting, presumably. I dodge. No. Okay. Oh well. All right. Mm -hmm. Did not expect that. Okay. Thought it wouldn't be able to hit me at this close range. Dodge. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Okay. And can I hit and oh well. Oh and oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Can I slam and dodge? Can I... Well, the big thing is the stance damage should not be... Should be mostly independent of... Well, alright. Dodge. Hmm. Okay. This is sad. Okay. Mm hmm. And dodge. Dodge. And dodge. And can I... Hmm. Can I... Hit, and hit again, and what? Okay. It's kind of infuriating. For the first time in a while, I'm completely out of rune arcs. Not great. Really not great. Okay. Hi. Oh, well, okay. Fun. 
Hmm. Let's just use some buffs then. Fine. I don't. Uh, the delay on that. There's no flash or anything. It just gets you. Dodge. Can I? Thanks. Cool. And mm, I dodge and. Mm, can I slam and another and slam? Nice! Lucky me. Okay. Hit. Though to be fair, probably using another one. Might have been better, but whatever. Okay. Cool. And just like this. We do that again. And I'm gonna meet her right then. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I dodge, 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 dodge. Can I slam? And can I. Dodge, can I hit and another? Cool. Hit and. Well, I. Oh. Right, right, and. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I. Another hit and. Can I. Or not? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Can I. Slam it. I, never mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to just dodge, dodge. Okay. Alright, thanks. And slam it. Does the head take all stance damage? It would make sense. Okay. Can I... Hmm. I... What? Really? Okay. Come on, you. Oh, we didn't die. Oh, no, we did die. It... Was that fall damage? You've got to be kidding. Okay. Stupid. Next priority, honestly. I should have gotten 25 faith so that I could actually put Golden Vow in without... Hmm. Whatever. This is a surprisingly difficult fight. Mm -hmm. Wait one second after that. And, and, well, okay. Not like that, not like that. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Come on. Blame. Oh, well, I, I did not mean to do that, right? Oh, whatever. I, okay. Du okay, well, if it works, it works. Get over here. And dodge it. Can I... Slam and slam and okay. Well, I okay. All right. Thanks. All right. And it's gonna no. slam. What? Oh, stupid. Okay. It. It's tough. Hmm. What's interesting is that. There's some suggestion, I suppose, that this Astal originated from Radon's death. That's why I was able to invade the lands between. But it wouldn't explain why there's one in Consecrated Snowfield 2. Okay. And dodge. Thank you. Cool. Get over here and just dodge. Thanks. Cool. Approach is tough. And can I... Come on. Just slam and... Thanks. Slam again and slam another. And nice. We actually got that. Exciting. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Heal and... Pop that up again. And... Okay. All right. Can I... Slam and dodge. Ooh, we actually managed to dodge that. That's nice. Okay, can I? It's mm, a good option. Can I? Dodge, dodge. Just spam that. Spam that dodge. Can I? Thanks. Hit and or not or not and dodge. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Okay. Maze of darkness, kind of, kind of silly though. I, all right, and can I again? Thanks. Cool, and just dodge it. Okay, cool, nice. Surprising me, and can I slam it? Okay, nice. There we go. Let's actually. This is probably a better right. Oh well, we can. Uh, no, we can get a line claw. Out. And oh, that that's a game changer. Okay. Let's let's bring this one home. Okay, cool. 
And where are you now? Right over there. Okay. Gonna use a meteorite attacker. What? What are you gonna use? Can I? Slam and another and hit and there we go. Nice. And, okay, we almost were in trouble. Let's take that. Waves of darkness kept going, which is a surprise to me. That's still natural born of the void. Remembrance of the natural born. Nice. Like that. Namesake, hewn into the earth tree, unlocked by the finger reader, great bounty of runes, malform store, born in the lightless void far away, once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky, a falling star of ill omen. It's probably not Stella, though. Huh. Well then. So. It's a side of grace right over there, and past that, in this weird starry cave. It's cool you see a starry sky, but also see stalactites underneath very queerly supernatural in nature oh but i can't go in there yet that's right it's locked off until i talk to ronnie again in the end it now that i've got access to golden vow no matter what it not having the rune artifact sucks but it I can deal. I've got access to most of my important buffs. Another Karian seal. It's a necessary item. Well done. Examine seal. Cannot proceed without a ring of oath. Okay. Well. Okay. So we do have to give that finger for Slayer Blade to Ronnie now. We've been locked off from the Moonlight Altar. So. Go and do some other things first. Oh well. What is it? Equipment of champions. Nothing there yet. Power from remembrance. And that. Bastard Star. Swill deals magic damage. And be with power by the remembrance of Astol. Same many colored star breeze. Comprises the form of the natural born of the void. Nebula. Magic sweeping strike. Dark water stores in its wake. Lingers briefly before exploding. Three waves of darkness. Swing in a sweeping strike. Great axes. Great hammers. Great spears. And colossal weapons. Hmm. Okay. Think. Hmm. All right. I don't really need either of these. It's an interesting one, but don't really need stuff that deals additional magic damage. <laughs> Hmm. I'll just get rid of it this way. Okay. Go forth, words of the fingers guide you. Maybe. Still gotta go to Celia Gateway. It's interesting when they have gateway areas. That Yeah. Hmm. In that case we do have to go to Nokron. And there's no other option. I mean, we have to go to Ronnie. There's no other option. To EG now that we've got the Finger Slayer Blade. Cannot be wielded by one without a fate in. Oh! Why did the game just crash? That was interesting. It was a Dragonkin soldier. It was. Astol. Should we be able to take down a duel? And I think the Black Knife Ringleader. That shouldn't be a problem. Really makes me feel like a dances. I spent that somber smithing stone nine on Star Scourge Greatswords, which were not all that amazing there. Just, I was whelmed. A bit underwhelming. Continue. Hmm. Maybe it was an issue with the EG. Some issue because of how we progressed specifically. Be funny if our game, if our file was busted. Probably not. Come on. And hello, hello there. We got that, and let's check my 
key items. We should have the Finger Slayer Blade now. Yep, yeah, we gotta give it to her. Over those without a fate, harm the greater will and its vassals. It's symbolizes its downfall. Okay. Can I help? Nothing there, so. Go over here. Well, Moon Gazing Grounds. We'll be able to get into Rana's Rise, too, I believe. Let's see. Blind, the half wolf. What is he? Weak to. Pierce and fire, okay. Hmm, in that case. Go oh, this thing. So once I get over to. Well, I should get a number of rune arcs from Rygard. From Volcano Manor's quest line. And at that point, I'll be okay. Mostly alright. Because at that point, I'll be approaching things when I'm supposed to. I won't have a problem with doing things early anymore, like I'm doing now. I'll be even more overleveled. I believe now that we're here, Blind is going to be... He's going to be kind of silly. Going to have to dispatch him, sadly. I think. That might be later. Okay. Alright then. Mm -mm. Oh, but I could have just... That's right, I could have just teleported to the rise anyway. I may be stupid. Huh? Ronnie's rise. We go to Ronnie the Witch. Talk to her. Give her the Finger Slayer Blade. Mm -hmm. Should be my way up. Somewhere around here. Yeah, we should be good here. But... It's Astolfia's champion, this Dragon King Soldier, and getting four named bosses every time is a good marker of progress. But right, I need to remember to actually go here. It's going to be pretty easy for me to forget if I don't keep that marked. Right. Kind of that magma worm. Hey, Lucario over there, it's been a while. Hello there. Ah. Who's thee? Not blind. Who got the Finger Slayer Blade? Slumber, I sensed it. How though? It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. Yes. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. So there's not that much more left to do. I begin my journey, dark path only I may tread. On the dark path only I may tread. Mm -mm. All right. Ah. Trust you with this. I must entrust thee with this. Take it. Oh, ah, uh, yep, the other part of Carbian Study Hall. My discarded flesh lies. So we can get that curse mark now. It, upon which is carved the curse mark of thy There design. we go, we got what we wanted. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the mm. brighter path. I see. You may leave now. It was but brief. But of course, we're going to keep going. What is it? Thy purpose in approaching me was to obtain the curse mark, was it not? Not just. You may leave now. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark. You want to finish this quest line. What is it? Thy purpose you may leave. Okay. Is this going to make blind go crazy? But we can just go to the study hall now, we can invert it and get to that tower. Hidden form of Karian study hall, ground and sky inverted, hidden form, connects to the divine tower. Build a secret to fix it to the pedestal of the celestial globe. Alright, I will do as such. The spells right now we can use. Time to flip this and we'll get to Miriam. Fight Miriam a second time. Hello. Flippy. Oh, oh. Hello. Hmm. But I definitely will want to use a bow to take down four to sacks. 
Bows are for dragons, and bows are for dragons. It's got a moon in it. I didn't even notice that. Remove the inverted statue. Ah, but it's still connected to the outside world normally. Okay. Is moon and stars obscure forever the transgressions of the princess? Let's put on a spell we can use. Mmm, can barely not use that. It's sad. I I wish I had a rune arc. It's sad. Night shard, ambush shard. I am. Um, hmm. Why not? Why not go for that? It's for fun. And Miriam, whatever she does, she shouldn't be able to get in the way of what we're doing now. Oh, that's cool. That's real cool. To drop down. That elevator there is interesting. And I... Oh, and Finger Creepers right here. This reminds me of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, actually. Of the item, Somberstone 2, and... That's just death. Okay. What if I had put it up the other way? That's the question. Then I... Oh, and there you are, Preceptor Miriam. I... Hello. Let us simply snipe at you from a distance. I don't think there's much reason to do much of anything else. Can I? Let's hit, and... Oh, it will, and it's got good range, too. Well, hmm. Still probably a bit better. I, well, at least it's not where it is mastery. That would have been annoying. And, all right. We are just going to keep our distance. No reason to do anything else. Okay, and can it... Well, ooh, all right, thanks. Cool. And, okay. Take and shoot and dodge it. Okay, out of the way, and can I... Mmm. She has changed her location now. Makes sense. Hmm. So now we're... Now it has been inverted. Right. Oh, but the water is flowing upside down. That's new. And if I dropped down here... Yeah, okay. Hmm. This is... Mask of Confidence. Soon shot with a gold thread, increases arcane, merit Renal, Karin magic preceptors, Dominus Max. Clear that all their matters would be kept strictly private. Probably being the fact that Radagon was also America. So where is Miriam? Oh, and a... okay. Huh. Alright then. Slam, 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 slam. They couldn't knock you off. Hmm. Interesting. And up here, or... And down here, or... Doesn't look like much. Okay. To get that mask. Hmm. Over this way. Take out the finger creepers. Easy enough. Don't even need fire. Oh, well. How didn't that hit? Whatever. Hmm. There's Somberstone. As he bursts. Then. Where are you? Cannot quite see you at the moment. I'm trying to see where I'm being shot at from. We're over the there. Okay. Fun. Big thing is, this is a sniper duel. And we... Okay. Shoot again, and... Or not. Thanks. Shoot and blast, and... Well, you're dead. Okay. Fun. Lucidity. Oh, nice. And that... We have the sleep and madness build up. That's okay. So before we got... Magic Downpour, I think. Karin Roller Family, build up a sleep in madness. Castle in motion. Karin Knights never waver. That would have been good for going to Frenzied Flame Village, but now it's just... I have no need for that. There's no use case anymore. Oh, cobwebs, fun. It'd be funny if you could cut those, but I wouldn't say it would make the game better. 
Okay. I don't need to put in every single possible interaction. Hi! And, oh goodness. Thank you. Mm -mm. Then we take that. This and... Thank you. Cool. Mm -mm. Got to... wonder what the... Oh, you do have to do that then. Interesting. Oh, we got a stance break from that. Cool. Mm -hmm. Ryo Karn Gauntlets and die. Maybe because we broke their shielding. Do you have to drop down onto their chandeliers, it seems? That's fun. So then. More items. Right over here. Cool. Hmm. What will be the way to the Devon Tower then? This is curious. Mm hmm. I'll need to figure this out. It's certainly something. It's all upside down. Huh. And that presumably might be our way. It's sort of a weird elevator that goes up and down. This is. It's done Firefly, so I suppose it's just things we got normal in the other version of Karin's study hall. Possibly, but you can kind of see these corpses trying to hang on, which is funny. We proof, and that would be golden medicinal solution, not that beautifulness. Whatever. Don't really need that all that much. Go down here, and bravery required a hand. Not that much bravery. Hello, hello. Then anything down here, or this will just take us to the Divine Tower. Interesting. Hmm. It... It's a little strange, I will admit. Oh, but you can't go on that roof at all, because it blocks off the sides of the platform. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Put a bit more light in here, see if there's anything else to see. And, yeah, we've hit the ceiling. Fun. What else is around here? Hmm. Alright. Alright then. Mm -hmm. What we need to do now is to go into... Is there an illusory wall? Head ahead. Okay, nothing. Just gotta line ourselves back up with the opening and... is over there. Okay. Through to the Divine Tower. There's gonna be a Godskin there, which is actually gonna be the first Godskin fight, I think. And Opening this from... That's funny. That's just funny. Good enough to me. Hmm. Question is, do I fight four to sacks today or not? In that case, I should mark spot over here, just to tell me that I still need to go fight four to sacks. And here we are, divine bridge of Weirinia. First mark is there. Weirinia Tower Bridge. There should be a godskin fight over here. But I've also got. Hmm. Put on St. Trina's sword, because it is exceptionally sleepable. Basically, the only normal enemy that sleep is worth using on in any meaningful sense. Okay, so let's switch my flask to resistance. Physic, turn that to into dex dexterity. Dexterity should be good. Should be a okay. Said once we figure out where it is, it'll be time to buff up probably. All oh, right, the smartest thing to do would be sleep it, buff up, and then blast it because it stays asleep for some time. The fact that it got ruined fragments 
So far, Missoula connection. Maybe just the fact that it was inverted led to that, which is funny to think. And not, okay, well, I. Ooh, all right, thanks. I all right, thanks. Okay, dodge and cut. Oh, all right, thanks. Dodge, cut. Thanks and can I? Okay, interesting. I dodge and can I sleep? Okay, there we go. Which means we can buff up and golden bow. Flame grab me strength. Take that and then we just absolutely ham on this guy. One, two, and all right. Slash and can I? Hmm. Okay. Ooh. All right. This is tough. I. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Can I run in and slam it? Ooh. Okay. All right. And dodge. Dodge. Ooh. Rolling. Rolling. Okay. Cool. And okay. You just roll forever. Okay. Huh. I. Slam it. Can I? Slash and dodge. Okay. Again and thanks. Cool. And okay, one. Oh, okay. All right, and mmm, thanks. Take this. Nelson Stitcher is crazy. There we go. Cool. Goodbye. What you're gonna drop? God's noble hood, Rome bracelets, and trousers. Cool. That's all then. Fun. Trousers, patches of smooth skin, subcutaneous fat makes them plump and soft. From my God's nobles, nobles makes ancient apostles said to assimilate in human physiology. Not unlike the crucible of the urgery in its primordial form. <laughs> Should have gone for normal attacks instead of just well, gone for a bloodhound's finesse instead of trying to oh, critical. The critical did not really help. Black bracelets, patches of smooth, strength, and seven face apron. Seven oh, there yeah, there are seven faces. Gross. Noble presence incantation. The big belly belly explosion. Alright. There's not that much else to do here, but... Oh, we can use that. That's nice. Cool. And then it... It's at the top, basically. So what would happen if I inverted it? Try to go back through. Might find something. I feel like there's probably a treasure item hidden there. Seems like the kind of thing that would be done. Mm -hmm. Alright, then. Over. Open this up. Find Tower of Lyrnia. Go to top, find that curse mark, and then... Blood will go a bit crazy, and we'll have to put him down. Okay. We are... not here. What do you mean by that? What is... Oh, is don't stand on the edge and fall off the elevator, presumably. If I re... if I uninverted... if I verted... The study hall. I wonder what would happen if I tried to go back through this way. Get our curse mark. That'll be nice. Rune arc, if I can get one, might be nice to take down some other enemies. I should pick up some Radon spears, that is true. I'll just use it with through and through. Hello. Push the grace, and this is. Divine Tower of Lyrnia. Yeah, okay. This was... Wingrave Tower Bridge. It's gonna be another godskin in Dragon Barrow. Hello, then, and no... Love ahead, therefore seek God. Alright. No birds here, even. This is Ronnie's perished flesh. Youch. First mark of death. Oh, and the Stargazer Heirloom. It's the intelligence boosting one. Legend of a queen raises intelligence and an astrologer gazed in the night sky as she walked. Had always chased the stars every step of her journey. And she met the full moon, and in time the astrologer became a queen. That would be Renala. Discarded flesh of Ronnie the Witch, half wheel wound of the centipede. Carved at the moment of death of the first demigod, and should have shaken the shape of a circle. Oh, right, because that would be the Prince of Death sigil when I cast Death Sorceries. Two demigods perish at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half wheels. First, Ronnie was the first of the demigods whose flesh perished, while the Prince of Death perished in soul alone. Alright. Let's re invert this. 
Study hall entrance, see what happens if I try to go back from the other side then. What am I get? So we're gonna get to the other side, I presume. It's got divine tower music for a second at least. Take that back off. Change it back. Go from the other side and see what we might get. It has to be some reward for trying this, I would presume. Where does Alexander go in Lyurnia, though? He moves on, but... Okay. Let's go back. Go to the bridge, see what happens. It'd be funny if it was just upside down and we immediately fell to our deaths. That... Is that going to be locked off, or... Let me see. This... Okay, so it is locked off this way. If it, if it is this way, you just can't go. Oh, and okay, so you can see that. So, Not entirely inverted, then? Maybe. Interesting. Some of the rock it was hewn from over there. Hmm. Okay. What do I want to do real quick? First mark that Fia and D and Regia are all dead. Everyone associated with that is gone now. I did want to buy. Honestly, stock up on Radon Spears. Buy a bunch of these. Cool. Nothing to lose. It is interesting though. Everyone's leaving. Everyone's coming, everyone's leaving. Kind of sad. Fire will leave, and eventually Corn will leave, and eventually kill the Encha. It's going to be the Twin Maiden House. Get in, and eventually even then. Wait until pass no longer, find your way. Okay. The Albanoic woman. It's in the cave to the west of the Lasca ruins, which jumped from the mist shroud in Lake Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're here, yeah, we got Astol getting up to here, but we'll need a bit more of that. How am I gonna do this? The next thing to do would be. Sport sacks there, as we went through that. Blood should be over here, but the lack of the rune arcs. We need more rune arcs. Well, whatever. And then, rid of that, put my gauntlets back on. Take out, Blood should be here now. We got that curse mark, but we still intend to serve. So. Keep on going, and can we teleport there right now, or... <clears throat> Zoomably, this should be... The point at which Blind just loses it. Probably, now that we've gotten the curse mark. Do not see him... Over there, so... So just gotta go back. Oh, but maybe the question is whether that ring from Renala's room is going to be... if I can pick it up now. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Talk to Ronnie again. We got that curse mark, so we want to do more stuff or what? Because I do need that ring in order to get to Moonlight Altar for one. Go up and over and hello. Hi there and oh uh, oh It's just a side of grace. Interesting. That Ronnie's chamber. Hmm. Oh well, alright. That was not there before. Back over here, that Oh, that was just that door. 
That does not need to be... Oh, well, actually, no, that was... And yeah, that could be a fight. Could be a fight, too. Should be around where... Fight. Jaren. Can I open that chest now? Oh, but that was the wrong way. Okay. And it's still locked. Okay. So then let's... Talk to EG. Is... Hmm. Okay. I can drop by, depart on her journey. Lady Rani has departed on her journey. Along the dark path of... Oh, from Rena's Rise, that's right. Right, now we have to go and find the miniature Rani. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani is more... So we follow. And moreover, her childhood warden... That's her next step, right? That's right. Oh, yep. It's not good for wide. My purpose Nearing its end. Nearing its end. It's gonna die soon. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can. No longer his fate, I suppose. Rena's rise now. Wonder if Blight is gonna have lost his sauce now. Probably. Check around and where is he? He is not here yet. Oh, I think it's outside Rena's rise, maybe. Which is what Celibus might do. He's up to. Check. He might have to say that quest line. The big thing is now his puppet plot cannot even succeed because Ronnie isn't even here anymore. Hmm. In that case. Oh, and he's dead now. This is Bellberry. How sad. How sad. Oh, the big hat. Mask of confidence, big hat, long gun, gloves, and trousers. And Pidia should be dead too. As your preceptor, Susur, block and perfectly discreet. Sense of astrologers, fact the Karns remain aware of you, and their fate has long been severed from the stars. Movements of the stars are drawn upon it, mind of the detriment of stamina. Serve royals, the sense of astrologers. Perished flesh, and that should mean. Pidia should be dead too. Let's go find him real quick. And pick up some things, and I think it would also mean you can get the Dolores the Sleeping Arrow puppet, too. Yep. Truly pitiful end. Oh well. Oh, and these Cuckoo Knight. They expect death. Yeah. He is bell bearing and doors to Sleeping Arrow. And by these Cuckoo Knight soldier puppets. Horse to Sleeping Arrow, Perish Flesh. This handsome archer dressed in the style of a man, stolen here by some, seen train his arrows from her short bow. It's born to the wrong table hold, both a critic and a friend of Gideon the All Knowing. It's sure that he and some of us went their separate ways. Question is, of course, whether that was an original some of us or just pity of puppeting. Because hmm. it is commonly speculated that Pidia is, in fact, the mastermind, so to speak, behind Celibus. Okay. How's Blyde gonna lose his sauce? 
Ren is rise, and now it's open. Use that way gate to find that miniature Rani, but already gone to Ansel May through other means, so it's not that important. Alright. Oh, and oh, nice. And this should be Ronnie's Dark Moon. Oh, no, just the Snow Witch Hat robe and skirt. I think it's on. The Ultra will get that. Frigid and Frozen Through. Sister with practitioners of heretical sorcery, strengthens cold sorcery. It's worn by the Snowy Crone, who the young Ronnie encountered deep in the woods, a witch well versed in cold sorceries. All that has is Ronnie's soul, modeled after her old witch was Ronnie's secret mentor. Color of snow, but this is actually cold and frozen. Interesting. That wouldn't kill me, I don't think. Yeah, it was just a, just a ladder anyway. Couldn't get up here through other means, but we go. We got a sending gate. My goodness. I guess it does kind of look like that. Find the miniature Ronnie. Hmm. There it is. Miniature Ronnie. Now resembling Ronnie the Witch, head to toe, every dull detail is perfect. A responsive doll seems pleasantly cool. Now we need to try talking to it. Repeatedly. Talk to Miniature Ronnie. Nothing. Eventually, we'll get a response. This is the fourth time. Oh. Yep, there we go. Dogged Another dogged dog contender. Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? I'm not pity. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna keep on I going. I expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. A little Ronnie. But now the cat is out. Thy back. freedoms. I cannot allow thee thy mm -hmm. freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Oh my goodness. Eliminate. Baleful shadows which prowl these lands. Just one of them, though. The name of Rani the Witch is already served Oh, my by goodness. Me. I will not <clears throat> brook disobedience in this matter. Sorry. Perform for me as eliminate the name of Rai Wom. Okay. I think it should be over here, if I recall correctly. Should be a decent way to take it down. Killing thrust in conjunction with some buffs. If I recall correctly, it was around here. Okay. Take that. And we use our buffs. Blend blade. Golden vow. Flame Grammy strength. Going here early was a little silly, I will say be around here. There it is! Hello, Baleful Shadow. Twists oh, like blind. Thou art the last. And two your fingers. That the witch Ooh. Flesh. Ouch. And never to heal. Nice. And stab. Cool. Take that and cool. Nice. Stab and dodge. Da oh, okay, cool. And it looks like they're destined death on them, which is interesting. And dodge. Oh, well, okay. Ouch. That's tough. Huh. Hmm. What are they weak to? Shadow. Me too. Pierce, interesting. I could. I could just use Lion's Claw, but that's too easy, honestly. Big thing is, I need to stay on it pretty relentlessly, but also not. Hmm. Welcome back. Not much. I killed it. No. This is the great epic I've been using for most of this playthrough. But. Which meant I, had to, I went up. I flipped around the study hall. Using a statue I got from Ronnie. 
fought a big chubby guy, Godskin Noble. Got to the Divine Tower, got the Curse Mark, which would allow me to go and fight Fortis Axe down here whenever I feel like it. But I'm doing a bit of Ronnie's quest line right now. It's okay. There's a reason I'm the one playing. Keep on going. A bit more of this. Thank you. Find grant me strength. And then take that. And it's just right there. Cool. No more dialogue from that. Okay. Powerful shadow and assassins of two fingers and oh, okay, interesting. That's one heck of a move set up. All right and hmm. Yeah, but don't. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, but it's got. It does have death and death effect. Well. Hmm. That's one heck of a combo. All right. Yeah, but that HP drain effect that it has on me, it's something that we'll see again later in the game too. It's associated with a certain boss. I'm not sure. It depends on what it was. What did you eat? Thank you, thank you. Up over here, and then uh, it. I'm almost at the same level. I think I'm at a higher. I might even be at a higher level than I was when I originally beat the game with my mage build. It's hilarious to think. Mm, okay. Seems boom. Blood flame blade. Golden vow. Oh, okay. But not Kapanata? Okay. Tomatoes? Huh. Interesting. Hello, and just... And... Yeah, dot. Oh, alright. Thanks. Slap, and... Okay, nice. This is great, actually. And hit, and... Yeah, this is really, really good. What a ridiculous weapon art. Okay. There we go. My thanks. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. It actually was. Now I can finally stand before them. Okay. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Bly and E.G. I love them. Mm. Discarded palace key. That treasure chest for Korean princesses. Oh, and Chillingness is gone. Empty house no response. Grand Library at Rayo with her mother Renal, her very flesh, which was just passed down. We'll need that to get to Moonlight Altar. So. Go over there. Pick that up. And open this. Right over here. And get. Scarlet Palace a legendary item, and that's. The Dark Moon Ring, which can't actually equip. It's not a talismans rather than rings. Anyway, Ring of Winter Princess Ronnie's Cold Oath. A lead and full moon, symbolic of a cold oath, supposed to be given by Winter Princess Ronnie or consort. Purian meaning of consort, whereby rats earn the title of lord, warning grave within. Whoever thou mayst be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. All right, well, Blood and E.G. are now indisposed, presumably. Think. Yeah. And he's still alive right now. Okay. To my health talk. Hearted, Empyrean, Ravenna's Rise, very end. Let me see. I know that eventually. Eventually, Blyde goes crazy and we have to take him out. But. Hmm. Again, I wonder if that's now or later. Can check. I oh yep, he's gone mad.
Basically, Blind is Ronnie's shadow, which means she, he's supposed to basically help and protect and guide her, but also kill her if she goes against the will of the Two Fingers. So, he's basically... His Manchurian agent programming has been activated, so... We gotta put him down. Sorry, Blind. So I don't, oh, and there was a Black Knife Assassin there, too. Okay, cool. And can I... Again. Just keep pancaking you. It... Oh, all right, and... Mmm. Does fight exactly like the Baleful Shadow. Sad. Mmm. Got a sword, though. Roll great sword, wide's armor, gauntlets, and greaves. That should be along with the other options. Roll great sword. Great sword decorated, roll a card in style. Favorite weapon of Bly the Half Wolf. Defines the fate he was born to. Swore to serve no master but Ronnie as proof. The sword was imbued with a cold magic at the moment the oath was sworn. Salt, imbued with frost. Forward somersault plunge. Pull it out for a cold blast. It's a bit like Wolf's Fang. Protecting from cold. Man with Blyed. When he shot a will out, it would divide destiny itself. It would have him turn upon his lady. And this... That frozen reference was not in the original. And it... It was more of a mundane statement about... Him not being able to deal with cold in a physical sense. Okay. So, that was a Black Knight Assassin there, and... Oh, but EG isn't dead yet. Okay. Wonder if you'll dialogue about us checking out Blind. Transfer or Blacksmith. Blood's yep, exactly. How could Blight? Yeah. How did he break free from his cell? Well, I did let him go, but it wasn't just because I freed him. Would have happened anyway. Even in madness gave himself to her. Judgment on myself capable. Soon that blind. Said my apology. Mm hmm. So he will die soon enough. Probably go through to the Moonlight Altar. Yep, and... Oh, and he... Soon as, and yep, a Black Knight Assassin who he presumably took down himself. And... And his corpse is burning black with... Black Flame. E.G.'s Bell Bearing and his Mirror Helm. Ouch. Bell Bearing, Parish Flesh, yeah. Oh, and it does seem to have a bit of black death on it. Crystal Looking Glass never left his head. Easily broken, weak, and striking hacks. It's a bit like the Nox Mirror Helm, Crystal Looking Glass. Those committed to high treason, words out the intervention of the Greater Will and its vassal fingers, afraid, terrified of his own treachery. Check my armor. Head, actually. Let me see that wolf's mask. Assassin, so that was from the Baleful Shadow, not Belied himself. Mass, Black Wolf, likeness is striking, so you can use that for a blood cosplay if you feel compelled. Hmm. So I guess we're just gonna proceed to the Moonlight Altar. And that lingers. How sad. Yeah. Now yeah, we can break that seal. Go up to the Moonlight Altar. Take out some other things. Exciting stuff. That's here, and now that the seal that said need an oath ring to proceed is now no longer here, and we can just go up. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, we got our elevator to the Moonlight Altar. Anything past here? No. All right. You have to regress that quest line and go up here. There's no other way. Hmm. And it's a rock. Take us through the... vicinity of the village of the Albanorix, though. Deep and so well. Like deep sea fruit, and it opens itself up. Nice. But... Okay, so Village of the Albinorx isn't really stretched to here, but some other things, other ruins, and if I recall correctly, I think I hear a dragon pacing around. Moonlight Altar, and oh, there are going to be other dragons here too, so lots of dragons. 
that down. Oh, it's is the snow or crystal or or what? Moonlight altar. Exciting. Hmm. Let me. Oh, these rays coming down. So once Quintstone Dragon Adula shows up. It's gonna be time for fun. In that case, I should probably arrows reach, arrows sting. Hmm. It. This might be better because it would prevent it from dropping off. Let's put on. Golem Great Bow. And then Re Lion Great Bow. This is the damage of the spears. Take that off. Take that off. Ooh, okay. Oh, the Blinds armor is good. Crucible is a little worse, but this is... That was it's a decent option. And I like this, too. The cape is pretty stylish. Okay. So having the bow on our back boosts the damage of the Radon arrows when we shoot them. Hmm. A number of dragons around here. They don't respawn, but I think there are three ones over here that are just normal. Then there's a Dula, who is not normal. Okay. Question is whether Radon's reign or another option is going to end up being better. I do you think that through and through is probably going to be a better option, but we'll see. Through and through and. Shoot and ooh, hmm. This is something. All right. Okay. Cool. And we need this. Hmm. I okay. Then I shoot and I. All right. Ooh. What? Huh? Okay. Heal. Heal. I need that. And can I dodge? Can I mm -hmm. shoot? Shoot and blast. I. Mm, I need to get up and get to a vantage point where I can avoid this thing. Can I sh shoot and mm, never mind? And I mm, hello, hello. Quintstone Barath is certainly something. I all right. Shoot and can I good and oh, all right. Thanks and dodge. Cool heal. Mm, all right. Can I shoot again? And I almost. It's just, these are basically just mini boss versions of Smarag, but I shoot and dodge it. Oh well. Well, it's dead. I killed it. Got one dragon heart. Okay. There are a few more dragons down there to kill, but. We're gonna refresh our stuff. I. Arrow's Reach is probably good. Sniping is going to be my best. Option here, most likely, but the big question is how much damage would Radon's Reign actually deal? I'm gonna do a quick damage test. Just in case. If we got one dragon gone for good, do the same with some others. I think there should be it's a decent number here. Okay. Sings Boon and. Mm, doesn't see me, but. Still bad news. Got any strength and. Okay, cool. Dawn's Rain. Let's see how well we can take it down like this. Can I. This up? How much damage? And. it It's a good. Decent deal more. And it. Oh, well, I... Oh, right, because I don't have that up right now. Okay, cool. I... As cool as Lion Greyville... As cool as Through and Through is, this is probably a better option. I think. I, okay. Thanks, and can I... Dodge, and can I... Mm, can I... Shoot. Shoot, and... Oh, that was really, really good, actually. Really, really good. I, oh, well, never mind. Hmm. Oh, I should also be using some of this, then. Okay. 
Let's put some of my buffs back on. Flim grant me. Blasketeers and this. Verdon's reign is basically just a devoted dragon killing item. Thanks, and this takes time, but I don't, oh well, alright. That was a mistake. Okay. Then I Thanks. I again. Shoot. Kill. And oh, interesting. Come on. I alright, and thank you. Okay, cool. Okay. Come on, where are you then? And now we go over there and shoot and kill. Nice and I okay. Fun. Okay. Alright. I dodge and another. Or not. And shoot and take you down. No. Mm. It entirely missed. Fun. Okay, heal and. And. Uh, really? Okay, whatever. I okay. Let's just dodge and hit the head. Cool. Thanks. Hit and. How much more? Okay. God's rain is good, but it requires some conditions, and die, and cool, there we go. Cool. Another dragon heart. Another one over there. Okay. It, it's a fun way to do things. I like it. Whatever works, you know? Hmm. All of these would be... Hmm. What's on that isn't nasty looking? Excel hood is okay. Hmm. Wish there was a good crown to wear. Whatever. That's a down. Ah, uh, too big. I... Too big. Too dumb looking. Yeah, it... It's all about drip. Can't even deny it. Okay. I have... A good amount of these arrows stored up. Got one more and then there's a Dula. Or Adula. The other Gwinstone Dragon here. And I... I did not mean to do that. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Do one more Glintstone Dragon in this area. One more generic Glintstone Dragon to take down. Okay. Flask. Do I? Eh, I guess I'll take it. It could make a difference. It really is. It has to be. There's nothing else in this world as important. Question is if I. Dawn's rain and nice, cool. Got to do that one more time. Again and let's keep on hidden. It tears through dragons. Let's do that while you're sleeping or otherwise indisposed. And it oh wow okay. And we stagger. That's incredible. And okay. It. That dragon got melted. Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. Then my question is... Where would Adula be? Probably on the way to Monticellus. We'll see. Either way, I'll take a down. That'll be another name, boss to fight. Let's figure out where it approaches, and then go back. I think it's around here. Yeah, this is... Seems like the place. Yep, there we go. It's on the approach over there. Alright. Hmm, mm hmm. Once we approach that, that's where sh it shows up. Go back, rest, buff up, and just shoot the dragon down. Okay. 
This is how I'm going to do things. There's no doubt about it. Hmm. I know it should be fine. Should make a huge difference. Hmm. Blessing spoon. Golden vow. One Grammy strength and should be good here. Cool. Just gotta get this going and mm, the time though it's taking right now. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Come on and over there we do it like this. Okay, hello, Glintstone and Dragon Adora. While you're there like that, we'll just get some hits in and can I another, another one, and can I another one? Cool, and now you're doing your Oh, you're bursting crystal. Nice. I, oh, oh, right. Fun. Okay, cool. Amazing. And just... How are you going to do this? And Oh, you're, you use your sword. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's slash. Okay, cool. And another. Another. Cool. And just... Dodge. Okay, cool. Thank you. And... Oh, all right. Great, great. And... Take that. And... Toss and shoot it. Oh, well, that... It's not such a great way to make that happen. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Alright, let's do this. And can I... Hmm, okay, can I hide behind a rock or something? I... Well, that that was okay. Mm -mm. Come on. Alright, and just horse around, horse around. Okay, cool. Out of the way, and we... Rain, rain down. Thanks, and... Alright, we... Another, another, and just shoot, and dodge, dodge. Okay, nice, and there we go. We got her. We got it for them. We should get a duel's moon blade, I believe. Drag three dragon hearts and a duel's moon blade. Nice. Duel's moon. Now we have ten. Wow. Okay. Cold magic greatsword, a sweeping blow that takes a decent amount more intelligence than I have right now. Magic Great Sword, Sweeping Blow that launches a blade like projectile of frost, can be cast repeatedly. The Power of Sorcerer is bested by Ronnie's for a night we owe to our dark moon. Eh. Great bows are for dragon hunting. It's what they're for. The Cathedral of Manus, Celis, of Celestial Hands. Starlight Shards, and I guess it's just a bunch in here. Give you a bunch after Sully, because it's already dead, and you can't even buy stuff from him anymore, which is funny. I guess if you really want, save it for Puppet's next playthrough, if you felt like it. Starlight Shards, and... more Starlight Shards. You can carry a maximum of ten. <laughs> well, okay. Pick these up. More things over here, but the big thing is, now that we... Well, actually... I don't think I had to beat a duel. I could have just gone past, I think. More shards, and... A duel, I encountered a duel before. Outside Ronnie's Rise, but it was a lot easier there. Okay. Level up. Get... Mind's Endurance, sure. Then Ronnie will be down here. Let's, oh right, we should put staff back on, okay, just to cast Starlight, so we can see things, and this should be where she is. There are a number of other things here on the altar area that I should try to get. Number of, there's an Ever Jail with a boss that guarantees really good Spirit Ashes, even though I don't use those. And just some other things that would be nice to poke around in. Hello, hello. Hidden path ahead. Somehow I doubt that. Okay, I... Hmm. Hidden paths in other places, but probably not here. Well, this is going to be the completion of Ronnie's questline, too. Try fingers, yep, because she killed her. Oh, and this? Where does this go? Hmm. Well, I should probably... It was out over here. Oh, it's just an outlet, so you don't have to teleport out, but it sweets back into the area. What is it going to stop me from riding my horse? 
It won't. Here it is, Ron ate her. In the true form of her doll body. Really tiny, but you don't really see that before, and covered in blood after slaying her own two fingers. Then, message. Right, right, she's not doing anything right now. You have to put on the oath ring. All right, cool. Have fun. Yeah, but you see those slain two fingers, killed with the finger slayer boy by her, looming over us. Fun if they just crushed us. There's already a ring there, but... Oh, okay. No, no, we're adding another. So Ron Ronnie, Ronnie is the type to wear multiple rings on one finger. I wonder what that says about her. Welcome back to the world of the living. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. It's very silent, but we're gonna get a pretty notable weapon now. I'm sure you can guess what it is. Oh, and now she turns back into this form. Oh well. So it was thee who would become my lord. I guess. Perhaps I needn't have warned you. Mm. Okay, when am I gonna get my weapon? To the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. All right. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. And then. Oh, wait. Ah, and here it is, and it's just white. Yeah, that's that's a legendary weapon. That's a legendary weapon. Moving great sword bestowed by a Karin queen upon her spouse under one same tradition, one of the legendary armaments. The sigil is a full moon, cold and leaden, and the sword is but a beam of its light. Three out of nine of the legendary weapons now, because I got night and flame, and the grafted boy now too. Moon like great sword, raise it aloft, bathing in the light of the dark moon, increases magic attack power, imbues blade with frost. Charged attacks release blasts of moonlight. Hmm. And I don't meet the intelligence requirement. I could make it happen pretty easily using a tear. I might try using this on my fallen sword beast. Well, that is also what I leveled up Star Scourge Greatswords for, but eh, that's. Hmm. Hmm. Feels a lot more physical, it's a lot more physically oriented. Oh, all right. Goodbye, Ronnie. In that case, the only thing left to do is poke around a bit more around the Moonlight Monster, and then I think should be, should be some other things. Call correctly. Left knife, ringleader, electo. Ringleader, electo. Electo, Black Knife, Ringleader, and immune to hemorrhage, but weak to frostbite, slash, standard and strike are what she's weakest to, which actually means we just use the hammer. And I probably put a frozen weapon on it, actually. Let's put, instead of this, we put on a frozen armament. There's something moving. There's an armament. And switch to my funny gray club. All right. Run on over to the Ever Jail, and we should be good. Finally, another sorcery I'm gonna use. They said it would never happen. Here, down this way. It is interesting that a black knife is around here, considering that... Ron well, to be fair, Ronnie eventually fought the black knives, even though she did organize the black knives' assassins. They're killing a godwin. Well... Should be over this way, eventually. 
Okay. This ever jail right here. And Anaconda. When saying anything about it, it does not seem like yet ringleader's ever jail. That's where Electo is. Yep, and this area is notably a bit spicy, but eh, we should be fine. It Moonlight Greatsword is strong, but I don't have a specific I don't have a build specifically tailored for it, which would again be a mage build, maybe with a bit of durability, but we'll see what happens. Skill required ahead. I did it. Frost, therefore armament, yep. Don't give up. Okay, enter the Everjail. Frostbite on my weapon. And then see if I can proc it. Yep. Or won't matter all that much, but still. Blessing's boom. Frozen armament. That's a fun sound effect. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength. That. Let's do that. Take that and. Oh well. Cool. Electo and. Alright, and. Can we. Break. Oh, interesting. I. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, right, we should take that. Cool. Can I... Can I... Thanks, and another, and slam. There we go. We should probably just hit with that, and... Hmm. Can I... Hmm. Swing that will only do so much for me. This is actually quite hard. I... Ooh, okay. Hmm. I... Wonder how best to do this, then. I... Oh, my goodness. You are... You're fast. Dodge, and can I... Mm, slam. Slam again, and... Alright. How much will this do? One. Two. We should reapply some buffs. Okay, cool. Don't have a lot of cerulean is the thing. Mm, I... Can I... Mm, nope. Interesting. Get over it. Slam. Okay, alright. Mm, okay. I, okay, and mm, that roundhouse was brutal. Okay, I okay. Can I slam and okay? Can I and okay? Nice. Can I one two and can I one two? Uh, a lot of crimson flasks is the thing. I dodge. Oh my! Ooh no! We actually got the black knife. To hit on us. That's not good. I okay. I one, two. Hmm. Okay. One, two. We gotta focus on what I can do to stun a lot. Hopefully. Oh, nice. We okay. Cool. And hmm. Hmm. I heal. And just can I dodge and can I one, two and dodge and hmm. That was very messy. Okay, I dodge, and can I, one, two, and probably, well, that didn't hit, okay, hmm, we're all out of tears as a thing, and I, uh, oh, Cerulean, that is, and I, dodge, and, ooh, okay, that was Destin's death, wow, okay, it's crazy, and I, dodge, and can I, oh, my, okay, that delay was something, can I, mm, dodge, okay, can I, okay, can I, slam, and, Slam again. Okay. I, mm, okay. Heal. This is going down. And there we go. Another hit. Should be pretty good. It. Is that all? That was not all. Oh my goodness. I thought that was. I thought that was it. Well, I. Okay. Now you're dead. Dangerous. Okay. Black knife tish. Decent amount of runes. Hmm. It was nice. That was tough. Could have gotten a lot of healing. Here we go. Legendary Ashen Maid, Spirit of Black Neptiche. She is arguably, other than maybe Mimic Tear, the best spirit summoned in the game. One of the assassins who on the Night of the Plot and beat her Black Knife with the Rune of Death and slew Godwin the Golden. The daughter of the Black Knife ringleader, Electo, was killed protecting her mother during their flight from the royal capital. Sad. So, let's see what else is on the altar, and then I think I'll kill Fortisex. And then the only things left in 
This southern area, anywhere south of Altus, would be well. The cave that takes us to Altus, as well as Dragon Barrow, Dragon Barrow, which shouldn't take that long. There'd just be the arena, which includes the fight with the Great Jar's warriors, Divine Tower, and I already killed Flying Dragon Grail, as well as the Putrid Avatar here, so there shouldn't be all that much. The only thing I would think it would be that Artist Shack. Also Gallery, and then... Wasn't there an Artist Shack or something? Around here? I don't even remember. It's a red main painting. But aside from that, it should be somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, and then there's the Everjail of Battle Mage Hughes, but that, that... That's kind of a joke. That wouldn't be a real problem. I let's play Blood Flame back on. I there are gonna be some ruins around here, but I'm not sure whether even whether there are even going to be any enemies of note. Hmm. Let's put Twin Blade back. Cool. Okay. Then this is all we need that for right now. Oh, but right we need to Right, it came here to level. Okay. Right. Level. Then we put in strength and tax. Okay. I wonder if it. What is daytime like on here? I don't get the impression that'll look much different if it. Yeah. It, a little, but not all that much. It, you can see the moon even during daytime, because it's the moonlight altar. I like that. Kinda. Hmm. Let's go up to this area these ruins it there's a lot here actually so i need to be systematic about my approach but that is we did finish ronnie's quest line and that does mean do have the moonlight greatsword now moonfolk ruins and this got traps lots of magic traps who is huh who is shooting at me from where I'm interested? Okay. This would be an opportunity to use Bloodhound's Fang again. Got the impression that there should probably be some decent smithing stones around here. Just my, just, just my hunch. And I... Okay. Thank you. And... Oh, goodness. Where are you? And I, oh, come on. I, oh, my goodness. You are... For a Glintstone Pebble, you are dealing crazy damage. Okay. All right, okay, and can I... Big thing is, I'll be able to tell when I've killed them all, because I'll get... That particle effect. Particle trail, and I... Okay. You just teleport so much, and I... Okay. Come on, I... All right. On. Mm -mm. How much more and where? Take some of this, and... Go around this way. Ambush you. Clown, and... One, two. Okay. All right. Aristocrat garb. This is... Oh, magic grease. Go ahead. Use your funny magic trap. There should be a... An illusory floor somewhere that gives me... Some kind of treasure. Okay, I... And that was not the end. Huh. That here. Oh, okay, well... There's a trap there. Question is... Here we have it. So what is our reward going to be? Is there a boss? There's no boss, just a treasure chest. Okay. This is... Oh, Somber Smithing Stone 8. Not bad. It's already there. What a... Another 9 one would be nice. It's just... Wasted that on Star Scourge Greatsword, which is... Not especially suited to my build, and I thought it would be better against Astol than it was. That might be. I think that might be everything in there, but we should still check. Hmm. We also Monticellus, or... Huh. I think everything sort of west of... That rocky outcropping would be a good idea to try to get, but you can see Ray Lucari over there. If you're on the Moonlight Altar. Hmm. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Well, we gotta start it up again. Thank you. Cool. 
What do I do with this? Do I? There's something else in here. This is Golden Rune 9 and... Oh, a Rune Arc! Finally! Okay. I... I'll pop that before a fight. Next time I have a fight of any note, I'll pop it before Fortisax. That's what I'll do. And when I fight Fortisax, I'll probably equip Order Healing too, so that the Death Blight doesn't get me. I... I think I've managed... I might have died once to Death Blight against some of the Basilisks. In the little out, outcropping in Lower Ansel that looks out over Lake of Rot, but I don't think that's the case. And it would be not. <clears throat> It'd be nice to go through not having died to Death Blight once, because Death Blight sucks. Just a second. I am. The death blight status condition's biggest hater. Oh, a fruit and oh my goodness, oh my goodness. How am I going to make this work? Huh? Here we go and hmm. So what's down here? Feels as if it would make sense there to be for there to be ruins. Some portion here. I'm not sure. Big thing is, is... I killed the three dragons, I killed Adula. Killed Electaho. Not sure what else might be in here, but... Oh, there is an item to pick up that I didn't see. Oh, five gravel stones, and that... It's the first we got. Short pointed stone for crafting items, compound stones. Lands once beset by ancient dragons, said to be the scales of those very beasts. That said, it there's no ancient dragon around here. The only dragons we saw were the lesser dragons, which included Adola or Adola. It the Kana, the Japanese characters would suggest the pronunciation Adola, relatively flat pronunciation, but it. If I recall correctly, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but the name was, if I recall correctly, a reference to some mineral or phenomenon, celestial phenomenon, I don't know for sure. But, hmm, so what else might over, be over here by Ringleader's Everjail? There might be another little less dungeon here or something. Hmm. But it's always nice to have a bit more strength than you need. And now that all of my stats go to 30 with a Runark active, and they're already all almost at 25, it. My strength is quite capable. Got what I like. But what is up with this? Why is there a. Spirit Spring right here. It doesn't even send me anywhere in particular. Okay. Maybe it's just for a bird's eye view? Weird. Okay. Hmm. So something just fell off and died. Kind of sad. Just a little. And that down there. Oh, probably another... Oh, another rise. And I think that's the one where I got... The Ronnie's Dark Moon spell, which I probably will not be able to cast during this playthrough at all. It said it's... it's just okay. Oh, and we got more Crystallians. Fun. Okay, cool. So, let's take you down. One, two, three. And slam and... okay, alright. And slam and... okay. Cool. Slam and... there we go. Take you out. Big damage. And can I slam and slam again and break your stance? There we are. And one, two, and then you'll explode. How nice. Okay. Cool. Acquire materials. Oh, just a robot. 
thought for a second they might have dropped something that I couldn't quite see, but no, that doesn't seem to be the case. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep on going and... Oh, okay. How do I do this? Got another Crystallian. It is still such a missed opportunity that... The Crystallian Ring Blade is never a usable weapon by the player. They added multiple chakrams, multiple throwing weapons in the DLC. Not a single one was the Crystallian Ring Blade. It's actually ridiculous. It, they added specifically chakrams. Oh, and oh, it's embedded in my head. I have a little headband. That's fine. Okay, thanks. Will it come back, or it does not look like it will return? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Got a couple of flats restored from that, too, but... The big question for me is... Where is that scarab I'm hearing right now? I presume that there's some spell I'll get from taking it out. Presumably. Hmm. It's gotta be up around... Wait, where? Where is it? Oh, it's just probably that one hell scarab. Okay, whatever. Huh. In that case, I will just go over here and... I wonder why it's even here. It's not even all that necessary in this area. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hmm. I suppose we can take that because of all the lines claws we end up using. Hmm. For here is nothing. Check this out and... The crystal... Bud. Is that a rhyme crystal bud? Just, no, it's just a normal crystal bud. So what are these three things over here? In oh, it's a wolf. Okay, wolf is here. That's what was going on. Okay. Now I see. Okay. I oh, alright. Thanks. Okay. Mm -mm. Take that and do a bit of spell casting. Thanks. Sings boon. Golden Vow. Flame Brammy Strength. This should be decent. Okay, cool. Blood Flame Blade would be even better, but... We don't need all that much, really. Hi there, hello, and can I... Thanks, and... Hmm, okay, cool. How much do I need here? I... Thanks, and... Go back. I... Alright. Mm -hmm. I... Dodge, and can I... Take, and take that. Thank you, and... Oh, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. I... Come on, get in, and... Mm -hmm. Thanks, and... Dodge it. Do oh, well, okay, thanks. Heal, and just... Dodge it. Okay, can I... Thanks, it. What? Okay, well, you're dead now, and... No, not quite. Not quite, not... Okay, not... That was... Almost really bad. It didn't have a rune arc to lose, but still. It was very, very close. Not expect a wolf to just show up and give me the business. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Let's see. Oh, that's nice, too. And then... Also nice. It's the first I have of these. 24. Semi-vitrified. Champions of the War Against the Giants at the birth of the Earth Tree. So it's... Found throughout, found throughout, then it's golden and specimen, poor region and vitrified. Huh. These aren't even golden though. Okay. Well, that was cool to get. I will accept that eagerly. And keep going around the area. Yeah, I do think finish this out by killing four to sex and therefore unlocking. The Fia ending, which I will not be taking. Okay. Here end. Presumably, we might encounter a few more crystallians over here. Hmm. Let's check. I... This is still a better option for me. Yeah, it... Better in every way except robustness. Mm hmm. Oh, we still got the dexterity buff up. That's fine. Then is that a? It's not a crystallian there, huh? 
What else and where? This leads down to Arise, then we loop around this way, back to the, around the cathedral. Hmm. This old dog. It is very, very funny that they have stone astrolabe, but they don't have a turtle. A turtle message option. You can say stone astrolabe in a message you leave. You can't say turtle. They didn't think that would be necessary. Even though they added many turtles to the game. Then, and... Dog ahead. Down here over to this rise. And I wonder what kind of puzzle of any there might be here. Mm hmm. Got one foul foot left, so yeah, we will be in a position here. Might have to do a bit more farming next time. It's grace discovered, rested side of grace. Altar south. Hmm. And what is the puzzle this time? This is Seek Three Great Wise Beasts, so it's Oh, it's more spirit turtles. Okay. Huh. So they all around here or in other parts of the area. Would be interesting if they were just around Moonlight Altar in general. Mm -hmm. Three great wise beasts. Cholona's Rise. Mm -hmm. Here we have... Mm -hmm. Is this anything? Nope. Okay. So it really is a question of where are the turtles are going to be. So it's always turtles for wise beasts, but I do get the feeling that they're not actually around here. Hmm. Well, well, I don't have time for this. Cholona's Rise. And it... Hmm. Directly west, far to the east. Well, in the air. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, so you have to... That's what that spirit spring is for. Okay. Hmm. Far to the east, south. Okay. Okay. Huh. Directly to the west. So it is scattered all along, all along the area. That's fine. Oh, and oh, and they're they're big. Oh, those are giant. That's crazy. Hmm. In that case, I try sniping it somehow, presumably. Make this happen. And hmm, frenzied burst should do it. And there we go. We actually got some runes from that, too. Okay. Hmm. Far to the east by Lunar Estate Ruins. Hmm. On a cliff face. Okay. The big question is, there probably is going to be a way to get back to Linear, linear Proper, because like I said, they don't like, usually... Forcing you to teleport to places that aren't just the round table hold, and then on it well you do have to go to round table hold, that is right. You have to go there in order to be touched by the two fingers, otherwise you won't be able to actually. Well actually, if you add your lane dell through Thea Thea's quest line, you don't need to do that. That's right. You can do it without teleporting, but you need to get to lane to the back way if you want to do that. If you want to go through the normal progression path, you do need to do a map teleport at least one point so you can get to lane to by receiving the wisdom of the two fingers. Otherwise, you just can't go through. Even if you do have the runes. And oh, we got wolves. Classic. Okay, 
this back on. Where was it again? Right here. Okay. That hasn't changed all that much. I still only have one heavy thrusting sword, period. And that one had a bit more bleed resistance. Interesting. One, two, three, four, and... Well, all right. Can I dodge? Oh, okay. Thanks. Cool. Mm -hmm. Snail. Ooh, you are resilient, Snail. This is... Mm -hmm. Thanks, and... All right. Hmm, okay. These so wolves are tough, actually. Huh. Thanks. Well, you're dead, and we got that from you. Hmm, mm hmm. And thanks. All right, and zoom back. Cool. Hmm. Got replenishment, which is good. Let's do that, and oh, we got another snail. They do have a grab attack, and. Honestly, given how strong these enemies are, they are a bit beyond me right now, I would say. At least beyond my defensive capabilities, because I have been kind of oil-balling myself in terms of defense. But... It... Hmm. It's gonna say... That grab attack, if I got hit, might kill me. It's funny to think about. Okay. Snail, snail. Come on, I oh, well, there was another? Okay. Huh. And we got some of that back. Be interesting if there was a way to replenish Flask Wonders Physic uses. But it is powerful enough that I do, I would suppose, that the entire point was a basically a boss fight specific potion you take just for additional power. Which is what it ends up being, which is not a bad thing. I like how you basically have a boss fight power up and... Come on. Come on, I, Okay, and... Thanks. We're back in. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving back around, and yeah, apparently... Go by Lunar Estate Ruins, and then... Mm -hmm. So tomorrow I suppose it'll be Dragon Barrel, and then... Mogwin, Dyna Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. That seems pretty reasonable. Hmm. 19. That's nothing. Down here. I know that said east around by those ruins. So to be down here, or what is the point of this little wrap around? Or, oh, and there, there you are. Okay. Oh, probably to catch you after you drop down here, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. So, what else? Keep on moving, keep on moving. Maybe take another swig of Cerulean after I have to cast Starlight again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go back up and may as well pick this up if we're in the area. And we can keep on going, go up, go to those ruins and see what there is to see there. This is not where Manus, Manus Celis was, but some other outlet. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, but the Moonfolk ruins, it was tiny. It just gave me a somber stone. Mm -mm. I wonder where I could get another somber stone nine. Would be over here or somewhere else. Bloodhound's Fang is nice, eventually. Golden Order Seal would be nice, but it. I do feel like a bit of a fool for spending there. Okay. This wraps around, but the best way would probably be to just. Well, actually. Is there anything else down here? There's only one way to check, really. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Kind of sad. It is interesting how vulnerable they are to bleeding, but... It's not as if killing turtles is a specific goal of mine. Seal on the riser open it. Oh, how did... Okay. So sometimes some of them get skipped. So I suppose that... Maybe it was because... Oh, I think... Since I went up in that spirit spring... 
And I did seem to get a couple of runes after I did that. I probably killed that turtle when I was jumping through it. Just, I didn't see it before because I hadn't activated with the thing on the rise, so I didn't have the opportunity. It wasn't visible yet. Okay. That makes some sense, I suppose, but I wonder if there's going to be another boss in here, if it's just nothing. It... I would think that beyond Electo, the three mini-boss dragons, and Adua, there should be something else here. I would think. First, I should. Let's mark that so I remember to come back. Okay. Slips back around here and... Lunar Estate Ruins. Thank you. It's all around here, though. Uh... So might this be the way down to the rest of Lyurnia, or not? That's my question. Relatively close, but there are no tombstones. So I suppose that the only way off would be to actually use your teleport. Interesting. Because everything else loops back eventually some way. Because even when you go to Deep Sea for well over here, you can just drop down back to Swamp of Aeonia. Nothing else seems to necessitate map teleportation to get out. Which raises the interesting question of whether map teleportation was always intended then. Or something they added in later. Hmm. Well, there is a rune bear over there. <laughs> That's something. Actually, mm, I'll go back up over here. See the herb tree, how pretty. Wrap around the outside of the cathedral, see if there's anything else to find. Everything inside, I presume, what we found. Not a lot of sites of grace around here, but no guidance either. It's just, this is where you go. At this point, you gotta figure it out on your own. Or use a guide. And it's not of grace. Mm -hmm. Don't go through the ruins, see what we might get, kill a rune bear, and... It is... They did a similar thing with Sekiro, where... The treasure carp scales were just given out very stingily for most of the game, and then you get to Fountainhead Palace, and they throw them at you like they're actual trash. Which was very, very funny to me. Anything over here, or... Suppose... <sighs> Raise the question if there might be anything on top. These ruins look conspicuous. I... <sighs> I can't say for sure, but it seems as if... A jumping puzzle would make sense here, but... I actually don't think there will be one. It may block off your progress on the around the edge pretty strictly. No, I don't see anything up there, but it is in complete and utter ruins. That's where we want to meet up with Ronnie again. Hmm. Go down here. Alright. This way. This way. Here are our ruins, here is our rune bear. Ruin bear, maybe. Maybe. The only thing left would be sort of down under this area. And then, of course, going to the rise to get a rise out of me. Then, did I. Was there. Is that a rune bear or just a normal bear? I. Hmm. Well, it. Let's not take a single chance. We have come too far to throw things away. Okay. Right, the nice thing is that I can apply every single one of those buffs without trouble. So what I have it. Oh, bear. Okay, cool. Alright, and thanks, and oh wow, that that's a one-tap. 
Yeah, Miyazaki and Patches. I saw that. Well, that's that's the final boss of the DLC. Not the final boss of the base game. Let me see. Come on, come on. So what is in Winter of State Ruins? I... Oh, no. Okay, well, I don't have any healing. Alright. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. You're over there. One, two... Are they... No, they're not immune to hemorrhage. Okay. Interesting. Go Squabort. And what is this? Oh, just a deer. Okay. Cool. Hmm. So what else is in this area? Well, it... There are a number of reasons I'm not interested in modding. And I... That's not something I particularly want to do, even if I could do it without modding. Just saying. Yeah, I don't I don't need to indulge my own worst urges. Let's see what's down here. And is this a boss? It's just a treasure chest. Well it I've seen it. I've seen it done. Three smithing stone eight. Yeah, that's only a fourth of what you need to take. Took a weapon up all the way through Smithing Stone 8s, but for Somber Stone, you only need one Somber Stone 8 to do that. It, it's ridiculous. I. I really do have to nuke Italy, huh? Whatever. You made me do it. Hmm. It's over here. Oh, and Winter Estate Ruins is. Actually, all of this. Okay. Why? Well, and, th and then you really would have me all yourself. Okay. And then, oh, another another revenant. Okay. Well, I I just don't have healing right now. Don't have any healing spells equipped right now. Two and oh my goodness. I, okay. The issue is, is that sarcasm is typically mostly a tone of voice thing, which is not exactly something you can really convey textually. Yeah, good. And what? Come on. Okay. So I didn't have a rune arc. So I I just need to equip heal. Or mm -hmm. okay. Maybe. Stupid, stupid revenant. Still on the rise open, but it's not that already. Whatever. Come on. Sea spoon, blood flame blade, golden bow, flame grab me strength. Okay. Thank you. Go back, take that thing down. See if there's anything else in this area to loot. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. One. Two, three, four, and... Oh, all right, thanks. One, two, thank you, goodbye. Okay, and Greybot? No, go Squabwort. Okay, hmm. Golden Rune 10. What else is in here? These ruins. Take that, Starlight. And then... Hmm. This is... Oh, and there's a... Something opened up with a stone sword key. We need one of them. Okay. And then, well, that was with use. So, well done. And a gate that would have been foggy beforehand. And who is what? And oh, just animals, presumably. It's gonna be past here. Give me something good. Give me something good. And this is cerulean amber medallion plus two. Okay. This raises maximum FP, procedurals from which life energy resides inside, and let me just see actually, check my talismans. Which are actually called Omamori, the original Japanese, so it's there's only the plus one would have two per quadrant for a total of eight. See it increase in number. Okay. And a fit more it actually gets bigger too. The disc gets bigger. Makes sense. 
What? Oh, what? Really? Really? Okay. Oh, they're just a bunch of small revenants. Okay, cool. One, two, and... Oh, well, all, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. As soon as we go through there, we get ambushed at the back. Fun. I, okay, cool. And one, two, and... Mm, turning speed is something. One, two. All right. Hmm. Interesting. And I guess a pig that I can't hit like this. It only hits to the right. Okay. Hope. And good stuff, Firefly. One, two. Lots of revenants here for some reason. It, they never really explain what these things are. Okay, just that they're malformed somehow and therefore take damage from healing. Okay, and... Oh, come on. One, two, and... Can I... Mm, give me some more. And the bear over there is... Oh, come on. I, okay, all right. Please, please. Okay, and... Slash, slash... It was almost a one-hit kill. If I had a rune arc up, or if I had had... If I had used my... Somber Smithing Stone plus nine on this instead of the stupid, stupid... How far did I level up with guns, anyway? I... Did get it plus seven, but I... Let's see. Do you have... Plus eight... I oh use that on that bow. Use that on the lion bow. Lion gray bow to just blast four to sacks with arrows then. I think that'll be a good way to handle that dragon. Okay. Starlight again and we should be. Other than going over to Chelona's Rise. We are basically done with Moonlight Altar. That, well, that's this village of the Albanorics, which is under us right now. That's fun. I'm actually kind of surprised that there were no rune bears here. Not that I'm angry. Makes me happy. But, thanks, thanks. Slash it up. Power of our magical weapon. Not a solely mundane strength. See those moonbeams going down. It's... Put all the remains under here, and then, yeah, chill on his rise. Get the spell. Sorcery, and then... Go back. Go four to sacks for the Fia ending, and tomorrow will be Dragon Barrel, which is going to be... More opportunities to just... Wreak absolute havoc with... Lion Greybow. There will be other opportunities, too, but... We'll see. It's dragons who are weakest to piercing damage, so... Arrows are... the best to use there. Keep on looking, keep on looking. Let's see. Let's go over to Cholona's. Alter South. Okay. Alter South, Monticellus, and... Moonlight Altar, just named that. Okay. So when the rise is open, we can go over, and this should be Ronnie's Dark Moon. As opposed to Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. It's not the same thing. Over here, and go up. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Anything here, or it does not look like it. Hmm. Check this way. Go up. Right above this, right. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Spiral around the rest of the tower, and it's all pointy. It'd be funny if there was something down there, too. Just item ahead, and this is always lover because it's Ronnie Stark Moon. A legendary, yeah, that's cool. Ronnie Stark Moon, Cold Dark Moon, launch at 68. Jerry Sorcery, Symbolic of the Karian Queen. Cast her as a vessel to incarnate a cold dark moon and sends it floating toward foes. Dark moon dispels our sorcery and attaches it. Temper reduces magic damage negation. Because it strikes and it also can inflict frostbite. 
Let's say that, which makes it better than, I believe, Renal's Dark Moon, which costs me two more intelligence to use that, and it also requires using a remembrance. Young Ronnie, led by the hand of her mother Renal, the headless cold dark, and veiled in occult mystery. All right. So in that case, the only things left to do would be one more upgrade on Lion Greybow. Then seeing if I can get any levels here, put on order healing, probably. All the same, and... Well, actually, I might be better off with Pustule, Prince of Death's Pustule, maybe. It's an idea. There we are. Fun. Okay. How much more? Where is my... I can increase intelligence just for fun. Any more levels are always good to have, so... Golden Rune... A little bit more durability that way. Golden Rune... And... Number of these... Golden Rune... Much for the next level... About 90,000. Okay. Let's see, and if I use eight, that's... 2,000 more. Oh, did, wait, did I? Oh, I, I may be an idiot. Okay. Now I need 3,000 more, so. It's two. At least it didn't just immediately disappear. Use this and level up once and well this. Mm-hmm. Discovery, holy, and... Fortisax, I think... I'm not sure whether we'll deal any holy damage, but we'll take that. Probably Prince of Death's Pustule. So Arrow's Reach probably shouldn't affect Radon's reign anyway. Sting would be good, but... A Pustule that Cyst. That's a good option. Check what vitality is without. That's that's pretty significant. Let's put on order healing. Don't need this right now. We need let's take order healing, which is right over here. Right, death blight build up. Okay, cool. And the rest, I hmm. honestly, we'd probably be best off clearing stuff out. To ensure that nothing I don't need is on there. This is all... Only things that actually help me at the moment. And I... Hmm... This is holy. I heavy, heavy medium. We're serious now. Putting that on. Question is, how much would weigh with the bow? Still medium load, okay. Is that lighter than Bloodhound? It might be. Yeah, it is. So in that case, we will we'll wear this funny piece of funny helmet. Okay. That's alright. Big question is then, how much AR will I get from Dexterity Boost versus Strength Boost? And then we can give her that curse mark of death now. Now we got dexterity boost on here. They are this is five hundred. Okay, not bad. That and now it's five hundred and nineteen. So it's strength. Let's see. 119, then 530, so there is a meaningful difference. And then like this, let's pop that for the fight. Good stuff. It's 553. What if I use dexterity with that? 53. Hmm. That. 546. So the difference is a lot less 
My stats are already a little higher, but it should still be strength. Okay, cool. Do that, she'll go to sleep, and we can fight Fortisax in her dreams. Hi. Okay. Oh, right, we have to be held first, so we can give her that curse mark. Religion's blessing. Curse mark of death. Other oh, hallow brand. In fact. How did you follow my Ronnie's quest line. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead. And there we go. And claim a second illustrious life. Mm. You are my power. Completion of the power of that curse. Sure. Oh, well, we don't even get to say no. A radiant Baldrigan's blessing, and there's only one of those per playthrough. Token secret. The rune. Gotta take down Fortisax first. Those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. Their Elden Lord. Okay. I will see to conceive Child of Rune. A rune. Hmm. Brandish my rune. Self of Rune, persecution. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So once we rest, she'll have been deceased, presumably. Hear this buzzing of flies. That Baldekin's normal one, but that one has a that has the debuff. The radiant one, hidden temple, a most rarity, longer than a mere favor. The priest of blessing this gun for a champion once in her entire life, soul blessing which she imbues of her own volition. Alright. This should be. I suppose maybe I have to actively leave the area. Let's go back here and try that again. It's possible that I might not be able to fight Fortisax right now. I might have to go to Altus or something to make it happen and make her just... Make her croak. Let's see. And is that... It does seem as if... Let's see, which dragon Fortisax? Dragon Fortisax. And it. And a request. Talk to her three times and reload the area. Okay. Hmm. Guess we have to talk again. But as long as we carry that Baldachin's Blessing, the non radiant one, we'll have. Less a max HP. This is goodbye, oh, my dear, okay. But I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will. Not the remains of one chosen for me. And I will bear a child who will inherit your womb, too. Not Interesting. To of their being, but to be born a dead be companion. Born. So they're chosen there. Okay, cool. Hmm. Okay. In that case. Hmm. Aches and pains, no sensation. Poise, almost rarity. Okay. Use that to get rid of it and then take on Fortisax. Now that we've rotated the area, she should be gone. And. Yep. That is all. Youch. Deathbed dream. Oh, but we have... Well, I'll be able to heal up a bit. Big question is... How soon is Fortis Axe going to start ganking me when I get in the arena? Oh, well, immediately. Okay. Cool. Alright. Amazing. Okay. Hmm, 
Okay. It's death lightning. Now we have order healing. Let's take our physic flask and let this happen. Cool. I, okay, and shoot and all right. Wait. Oh, all right. I, ooh, okay. I, oh my goodness. That was disgusting, actually. Cool. Well, I, it's a little anticlimactic, I'll say. I, dodge. And, ooh, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. And cerulean. And can I... Okay, and can I... Well, I... Dodge. Oh, well, all right. Yeah, it... We're okay here. I... Mm -mm. Come on. I... We got two lightning spears. I... Dodge. And, okay, okay. Can I... Shoot again. And... Can I... Mm, of course you're getting out of the way. You imbecile. I'm using Lance Exclave, which is your sister's spell. I think your sister's spell. And I... Another one, another one, and there we go, and that's all. Okay, cool. Death lightning now, and that was it. Anticlimactic. Okay. Remembrance of the Witch Dragon, and... Oh, yeah, that death white fog. Cool. Didn't even really see that area. Okay. Well, that... Thank you, Lion Greatbow. I'll take it. That's right, it's left on our corpse. Witch Dragon Fortisax, turned into the Erd Tree. Great bounty rune. After God won the Golden became the Prince of Death, the ancient dragon fought long and hard against the death within its companion. Once the victory was never achieved, and its only reward was corruption. All right. Here it is, the Mending Rune of Death. Let's see, it's two of those centipede, centipede wheels, half wheels together, used to mend the Shattered Elden Ring. Rune gestated like a pregnancy by Fia the Deathbed Companion, it is her child. These restore the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. Formed of the two Hallowground half wheels combined, it will embed the principle of life within death into order. Golden Order was created by confining deaths and death, thus, this new order will be one of death restored. And this should bring in the other D brother in here. Which, there he is. Yeah, this is the younger brother, Darian. Because the other D was killed by her. Because he was a hunter of the dead. Let's see what's here. Fia's hood and Fia's robe. Covers the entire body. Fia death but companion. Journey after being exiled from her home. Soft as silk. Then enough those embrace every pulse, every bit of warmth. Soft as silk. Okay, well, he'll disappear and die anyway after we talk to him. Hello. Hi. So this was Devin. Honeyed rays of gold. Deliver my spirit. Hmm. Darian. Now I have no regrets. So I could kill him, but rays of gold. If I rest, Deliver he'll just die anyway and leave his stuff behind. Darian. She was dead anyway. Okay. And yeah, now he's gone. And that's the end of both the D brothers. Nice. Separable sword, and we got our twin armor back. Huh. And I think... Okay, and it has the same description as before, but it's not new, because we just got it back. Separable sword, compounding silver and gold. You can also get this by killing D on his first meeting in Wimbrave, if you want to be funny. Sacred weapon to hunt those who live in death deals holy damage. Separable twins found solace in the Golden Order. The only institution not to revile them is accursed beings. Essence, Golden Blade Project on Holy Essence for a while, and now, well... That, that's done. This is, okay, fair enough. What else? And where? Check my other markers. These were just, actually got the Hymus spells though, so. 
Something else, and we gotta go over there after we get to Altus. Eventually. Next thing is just gonna be Super Well. And other stuff in Dragon Barrow, but before that, we can briefly check what we can get from Remembrance of the Lich Dragon. Just two spells that I can't use. But, oh, and right, I can just. Oh, and I'll need to do some foul foot farming too. That's whatever. Okay, well, a bit more intelligence now. Everything is at 25, and with a rune, everything is at 30. It. We are strong. That. I shudder to think what dragons I'm supposed to be facing right now are going to be like. Remembrance, nothing over there. It's a Spring Island Redon. Remembrance of the Witch Dragon, four to Saxes, Lightning Spear, and Death Lightning. Two light red lightning spears in tandem. Two spears of red lightning stabs them and they ran from above, one after another. On impact, each spear will burst into trails of lightning covering the area. War of the Ancient Dragons, the twin red lightning stakes were the hallmark of one ancient dragon. It's called the Mightiest Boulder Stone, and that would be Fortisax. Basically, Strong Stone. Hmm. This is Ancient Dragon Fortisax, now corrupted by death. Surroundings by the storm of death lightning. That's what it says here. Death Blight of Fonfos, charging extends duration of the storm. That doesn't charge. Golden Lightning wielded by Godwin, who befriended Fortisax. Interesting. I... That's no good, really. This is... Death Blight does not do anything to... Anything other than players, anyway, so... Okay. That said, it'll be a while until I can use either of those anyway. And frankly, I don't think either is going to be particularly useful. But I think the next order of business is going to be... Dragon Barrow. Yeah. We got some things over here, and also we've got that Pure Blood Knight's Medal that I got some time ago from doing the Vare's quest line. So you can use that to go over and go to the other part of Sifra, because this all gone the rest of this, but. The C for name tag is not on there because we haven't seen it all. The Dynasty Mausoleum, which we could see a little bit from over here. It's going to be over this way, and that that would actually allow us to enter the DLC. Say so what about just not being able to use it and it not being particularly worth it? It... Almost everything that's going to be really good for me, I already have. It is what it is. Yeah. So I suppose that'll be all for now. The next order of business again will be Dragon Barrow. The little area around by the Colosseum and then Mogwin and then maybe a little bit of Altus and Gelmir. Depending on how fast that goes. So in that case I think I will resign for now and oh wait. Oh but you can see the land because this is the location of that isolated divine tower. You can see that little shadow but this is just water. So thanks for watching and sign ragging. Glad you liked it.